What is up, guys? Joey Robbins here, back with MLB The Show 24 on the Xbox Series X, continuing the Angels franchise on Hall of Fame difficulty. We are on Season 3, Season 2026, Game Number 65. We are about to face the Guardians. They are 41 and 23. They're having a really good year. And we are 36 and 28. So here we go. Hey, Network. What's up, buddy? You're fast as lightning. All right. So let's see what uh, the Guardians look like. <clears throat> oh, that's right. We did look at their team from last time. Oh, yeah. They drafted this badass. Forgot about that. Yeah, he's a man. He's going to be a monster for them. He is a night player. Hmm. Yeah, he's a beast. <clears throat> he's fast. He can hit. His defense is getting there. Man. What a guy. What a player. Okay. Hey, Easy Lopez. What's up, buddy? Hey, Rockstar. Hi, Joey. Long time no see. What are you planning on doing for your uh, 3K sub video? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, how's my budget looking? All right. Yeah, we've been uh, heating up, so pretty good. They righty. We'll let um, Zuna DH. Oops, hit the wrong button. There we go. Everything looks good. Ba boom. Yeah, that young guy. He's batting fifth. Henry McLean. Now from downtown Cleveland and Progressive Field. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Cleveland Guardians. All right, we'll be <clears throat> just about set to go. And today's starter, Hunter Gaddis. What do we need to know here about the right hand? Well, he's been giving up a lot of hard contact this season. I mean, coming in, guys are hitting comfortably in the high 200s. So many times there's some bad luck. Yeah, it is. Also, <laughs> there's just a little miss here. Just saying. A little miss anyway, there that <laughs> changes the outcome of the at bat. We'll see if he can be consistent. He's not having the year that he usually does as Here's far as average, field. batting 249. But Moniac's still good. Here we go. Boom. Let's outside. do it. And we are underway in game one of the series. Yeah, Moniac is a great hitter versus righties. But yeah, he's. Kind of having a down year for himself uh, out of the three seasons with us. Drops in for Usually strike. he has above 300 average. This time, 249. Close nope. one oh. doesn't get the call. Two balls and a strike. Here comes a pitch. That nope. one misses. Oh. Good idea. That was actually this a really good pitch. Takes his game to another level, playing at night. That one's in there. All right. Getting a, Get a feel for Gatiss here. The pitch. Three, one. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Good play oh, to oh, there. The curve. All right. Well, that was an easy layoff. Now, I'll take a leadoff we walk. Thank you, Gatiss. <laughs> hey, David. What's up, buddy? Issue once again early on. Vladimir. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Going one. Okay. <clears throat> oh, and one. Oh, 
right through there for a strike. That was the slider, snuck it in there. Just only at the first pitch, but it's okay. Battling here as he fouls it away. Kicks and fires. Ooh, and he's going right at me. He's not placing that fastball very well. He got away with that one. He's getting great right through all strikes to uh, Ferrero. Yeah, that was a good slider. He kind of snuck it in there. Here's Mike Trout. Here's a hitter who's been strong in the clutch lately. More than an RBI yeah. per game over his last 10. Check on the runner. Monia. Back easily. So Trout having a down year for himself as far as average goes. 259. One thing we're doing though, we are hitting a lot of and home runs. When we connect, Foul we connect. Off. He was late. And so far I'm late on that fastball, but first one away. he located that one pretty well. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Man, ever since that leadoff walk, he's throwing nothing but strikes. <laughs> and a pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. <clears throat> And a pitch. Oh, the slider. Uh, back to back strike out. They know he's going to be something like that. That's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off. Don't tell me today's score. Do not tell me. Or I will end this stream. <laughs> and the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on Yankees everyone. are doing good though. If he can put the ball in play. Yeah, I haven't that's watched the game yet. It. Keep him off balance. Get him out of there and deal with the next guy. My timing's off on him. Swing and a miss struck him out. Wow, after a leadoff walk, he struck out the side. I feel a little embarrassed. Strand one, and now the Guardians will see what their bats can do in a scoreless ball game. All right, well, whatever. And we're back. And towing the slab here, number 57. Chris, what are you looking for from him? <clears throat> well, Boog, maybe a little pedestrian there in terms of the ERA, but with those numbers, you expect to be in a ball game and have an opportunity to win. And really, that's all his teammates can ask for. So we'll see if he's able to be consistent in this one. Now at the plate, Stephen Kwan. Up and in, 1-0. Swing and a miss, strike one. Then he really one sells one. the changeup with that arm action. That Ball. misses the zone, and it's two and one. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Bounce to the right. Dives, but oh, we can get him. Glove. There Still we go. Able to get it there in time. So they get the first down of the inning. Here's the Guardians lineup now. And a big factor for them in recent games, Bo Naylor. Well, these days we know teams, you know, they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup. But a guy like this, they circle him. That's make sure he doesn't beat you. Uh, so, you know, they put in a little extra time. Number 10 prospects. So they have a couple of youngsters in this lineup. It's funny, they're so really rebuilding their team, but right. yet right they're, they're really good this year. <clears throat> One down, base is in. I think they had good pitching, so we'll see. Hard, but it's a foul ball. Uh, how this game progresses. I mean, <laughs> their guys struck out the side after that walk. We'll see. At the belt and fires. Hey, struck him Ooh, out there you go. Looking. Back door. Frozen with a back door slider. Tremendous job of bringing that ball back over the plate. He gets just enough of it to get the call. And tell you what, as a hitter, it starts out of the zone. It looks That's really far away. And for it to catch the outside corner, you just wow. have to tip your cap to the pitcher. Two down, nobody on. Next yeah. pitch in for a strike. And one and one. Ooh, this short. could be a nice one, two, three. There we the go. And Ramirez is set down. Good job. 
And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. Scoreless after one. <clears throat> All set for the start of the inning. So in now for the Angels, Nolan Shotwell. Gaddis back to work. That one misses. Ball one. All right. Shotwell measures six feet four inches. Twenty-four years old, and he's put together some good swings lately with five home runs in his last ten games. Freddie Ferguson doing the umpiring duties behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Freddie's a well-respected umpire, but maybe a little bit more of a pitcher's umpire. He does like to pitch down. Yeah, just right now my time is right off. About there, but most <clears> hitters are pretty good at covering that spot these days. Chases in the dirt, slider. Chased there. it. Wow, four straight Catcher strikeouts. It, fires the first. Usually I'm not That's like it. that bad. One away on a drop third strike. Wow. Yeah, there's no doubt, bro. Electric yeah. stuff from the jump. It was just no mess. And that was a really good Still slider. Cool, cool man. He's oh, showing a good slider. Uh, fastball. I don't know. Just laid on it right now. Might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. It is a breaking ball that drops in there. Labor gets a piece one and two. Second inning here, no score. In the air, right field. McCain should have this one. He's there, he's got it. And there's two down. Batting seven, the second baseman. Two outs, base is empty. Brandon Drury to the plate. Just oh, missed. Right yeah. through there for a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hey. hit in this at bat. Swing and a miss. I don't know why I'm not getting a good two. read on him. Kind of my problem. I have to look at his overall. I mean. It's almost like he doesn't look super impressive, but I am not getting a good read on him right now. And it's a My timing is off inning. on him. Angels held in check. We'll go to the bottom of the second. Overall, Most I've been showing good timing, but this Gatiss guy, he's uh, giving me issues. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's O'Neill Cruz. Not shortstop. Oh, here. Pitch. That one to first. Well, I like that. He takes it One pitch. Lead off One out. Retired here in the second. So digging in, Henry McCain. Oh, there's that young Henry. stud, man. McCain. There he is. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. <clears throat> One down, base is empty. Action! Stays alive. So far, uh, Chase, he's working quick and efficient. The pitch. Got him look. There you go. Two gone now. He's definitely but showing good command. That one, and clearly he was looking for I was actually surprised else. ever Anything since he was brought ball. back up. He's been pitching really right well. I mean, ERA wise, he's two and four, but, but a 370 ERA. So far, he's looking good in this early. Here's Eddie Rosario. He's actually uh, our second rips. best starter as far as ERA goes, which is, you know, the I don't know. I'm sure that'll change, Waste but no time there. he's pitching kind of hot right now. Hopefully I didn't jinx it. See it deep and keep your hands inside it to drive it the other way. Bo Naylor at the plate now. Two hits and four at bats during yesterday's ball game. Ah. Strike one to the catcher. Foul ball. Two gone, but the go ahead run is at first here in game one of this three game set. And one oh. and two. Yeah. Got him. There you go. You and can that's check. The third out. Nice. One hit, one left. We played two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. 
<clears throat> Back here in Cleveland, stepping in the long ball threat. All right, so how good is this motherfucker? He's only a 72, but he also has a 3.72 ERA. So I guess he's just pitching hot. Yeah, I'm struggling against him. I don't know why I'm not really reading his, uh, his stuff very well. Gattis, back to work. Pitch misses, oh. and that's ball one. Yeah, because I look at his stuff. I mean, I'm not like pressed. Kind of throwing me off. But this, I don't know. And that one clips the corner. I guess he's like my guy. He's kind of pitching hot, I guess. And Two another one. ball. Him to chase after that. Yeah, chase that one. Well, sometimes <clears throat> can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Ball. That misses, and that's ball three. Oh, Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. There's a swing and a it's good not. swing McKean on that one. Reaching back towards the wall. The warning track makes the catch. He missed it. <sighs> And next for LA, Logan O'Hoppe. We can definitely go yard. We have a lot of power. Over the last five games. When we connect, we connect. It's in there. One one. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. One down, base is empty. That one oh. missed. Oh, chased it. Motherfucker. He's a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. Right into the plate. Almost okay. got him. <clears throat> out towards right center field. McCain sizing this one up. Drops into the glove. And there's two away. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. Now the left fielder, Mickey Moniak. That one finds the zone. And that is strike one. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. 0 oh and 2. Two outs. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Barely got a piece of that. <clears throat> right yeah, he got me on the front hand. again. Tosses to first. Oh, well, he is and pitching pretty is well. And I feel like he's doing better as far as and we are his location. Scoreless. Hitting the edges a little more. Hmm. He's mixing Ready it to up. For the last half of the inning. Trying to, up for the I think that's what's screwing my time up. Even though I had a couple big swings there, it just missed. But the pitch. A little bit that's high. That's ball. And that's ball one. <laughs> up the middle, and it's through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Batting done. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Next to hit, John Kenzie uh -oh. Noel. Not where I wanted that. To right. Did Soto he miss it? Going after it. Soto grabs it on the run. Thankfully, it was the number nine hitter. Huh. Yeah, I got away with that one. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. He's all for one. Breaks his bat, pops it up. And so far, he's really throwing strikes. Uh, his command is actually pretty on point so far. And the one. Something I'm not usually accustomed to. Jump throw. 
so Boy, excited. that's some defense right there. There you go, Guerrero. Hey, Eric. What's up, buddy? Goodness, Chris. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's going to be a base hit. Our defense not the best around the block, but that, that was pretty good. Man, that's an impressive throw right there. In the air, all the way from third base. You've got to have a powerful My pitch count's really good. Right. Man. He just showed he's got more Getting than enough. Outs. He's got a cannon. Throwing strikes. Man, it's second. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. Runner at second. Two down. Here in the last half of the third. Next offering upstairs. <clears throat> And on second, two down. Got him. There you go. That is the inning. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. The As we go the to the top of the fourth, there's a big Vladimir power threat. Guerrero. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The wind of the pitch. That's in there. Mm. Strike one. Right down the you know, pipe. these angels, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs oh. have come from weak contact. No. Pitches. Okay. Chasing outside Had good timing strike. on it. A little underneath that. can't do much of anything <laughs> with those locations, and that's been true again today. Ball up Next pitch I is outside. You're do that slider away. As a pitcher, away. when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners Keep and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Still went with the slider. That one was better. I spoiled a good one there. Got me out in front. Figured he'd go back to the fastball. Another slider. That one he hung. Uh, he probably wanted that one away away. The two two on the way. Chased it. Swing and this Don't feel that cleanly. Ah, on the first. One up, one down. And he looked a little tentative on that swing. So far, like wow, he he's pitching well. Recognition and tried to slow his back down just to make contact. <clears throat> I mean, you see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and putting it in play. Have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. Trap in the box now. No balls and a strike. And it's even up. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Fuck. Swing and a miss. He That's swing. Strike That's two. swing. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches. And Jesus command. Christ, Joey. Nice He's killing me with that slider. Miss for the strikeout. Naylor throws to first <sighs> in time. And Can't believe I'm struggling against this guy. Got him swinging on that pitch away to finish him off. But yeah, I, I looked off the bat at that. I was really challenged balance. him in there with some competitive pitches, not letting him get his hands extended. But oh. of course, that eventually opens up the outside part of the uh, It's one of those things. I don't know if it's adjust. me or he's really pitching that well. Jeez. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Left hand batter waits. He swings and fouls one off. The line to kick the pitch. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Down and in, in. moved his feet. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put them away. Change up. That was a good one. Righty delivers. And he another ball. Out. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. Ooh. Foul ball and it remains. Flinched on that. Count. Oh, I don't know why I did. Ninth pitch of the impact. That was a good Do pitch next. to hit. Fuck. Here's a swing and a try. I might have gotten that one. There we go. 
There we go. It's gone, motherfucker. He made him pay for that one. The Angels yeah. on the board first. Got that it's one. one nothing. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Home run number 23 for Soto. He's, he's, uh, he's up there in he's home runs. Looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Maybe leading the American League. Angels, baby. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Yeah, was that changeup he left up, and, and that one off. I did not miss. Hey, Aiden. All right, there we go. Now it's going to be Nolan Shonowell. All over that one. Yeah. Nice ball for a strike. It's 0 1. <clears throat> Two out spaces. At least I'm working his pitch count. He's approaching 70 pitches. Empty. And that's a good thing because uh, yeah, I'm overall struggling against this guy. The baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. My only hit is that that's solo that's shot. That's a good take. Two down, nobody on. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself. It's either I'm, I'm late or I'm out in front. He's, get, he's been getting me out in front shot. a lot with the off-speed stuff. I don't it's know why I'm off balance. On the show. But he made a mistake with uh, the back back to back change up, and uh, he got away with the first one because I flinched, and then he threw it again like an idiot, and uh, I was all over it. <laughs> that was his mistake. Here in Cleveland, ready to go, bottom three, and now it's switch hitting third, third baseman Jose Ramirez. Ramirez, and he deals, and that's oh. off the inside edge. Well wow. one. And that's no, outside. That's out. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Right-hander kicks deals. This ball's chopped oh, in go. the ground. <clears throat> Over to first. I have to say, it's one been mainly pitching in this one. Not much hitting going on. Now here is O'Neal Cruz. Over one and grounded out. Definitely not like that Rangers time. game from last year. So oh my God. O'Neal Cruz is named after Paul <laughs> O'Neal. That was his father's idol in baseball, so he named his son O'Neal. In 2022, no, that they ball. finally met each other when the Pirates played the Yankees in New York, and I'm sure that was a moment that O'Neal Cruz will never forget. That's no, off the ball. mark. Ball two. Two will count to a guy like Ball, this no at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He can make you pay. A dive. There we go. Stop. And that's a great Man, Chase is pitching out. really well. Man, a lot going on on that play. Diving <clears> down <throat> to his <throat> right. There's their young stud. Struck him out first time. Takes it himself. Man, it's a one-man show. This 20-year-old is going to be a monster in the future the ball. in the box now as he looks at ball one second plate appearance of the day for him up the middle collected by Torres he's like yeah he's really fast too. First, there you go the man out. another quick and one two three guardians my right, lord chase one, two, three. I call I him back up and one nothing he's Louise. he's been pitching well So ironic Back how baseball can work, you know. Top five, John okay. Chubby with Chris Singleton. Yeah. And leading it off, Blake <clears> Torres. <throat> I actually want this guy out of here. Right-hander back to work. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Torres, One strike. a former All-Star, a member of the 1,000 Hit Club, and he was born in Venezuela. Foul ball there. Crush. Boy, you Let's hung that down. one. There we go. It's gone, motherfucker. I tell you, you make a mistakes, we take them deep. And they add too much power in this lineup. Nothing. Number 12 for Torres. Boom. That was a rare mistake with a slider, too. He's been doing a good job with it, but that one, he just, that was a hanger. It's pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that <clears> was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it. And oh, got boom. It. 
Now it's the second baseman, Brandon Drury. And there you go, another hanger. Middle. I think he's getting big. He's at 75 pitches already to start at the fifth inning. I'm, I'm seeing a difference. Over that wow, one. Really nice job so staying up the hit. middle with his approach. More he didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Here's Marcelo Zuna. That's yep. a strike. That. He hung it again. Drury gets his lead at first with nobody out. Ground ball could be two. Motherfucker. Two Going on top of that. How about that double play? Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. And here's the catcher, Logan Ohapi. That yeah. one finds the zone. One one. One run across in the frame so far. And we're at the top of the fifth. Ooh. Yeah, bad read well, there. Really oh, we that that was a damn good curveball. That was much. a strike. You focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the one, time. Two. That misses the zone, and the count is one and two. And a pitch. Swings through it, and that's Late a swing. strikeout. Late read on that. Angels get one with a solo homer. And it's I don't two do nothing. Oh, hopefully Baseball they'll take him out. The even though I think LA. he's showing that he's starting to hang him a little bit, probably due to fatigue. But yeah, I don't know. He actually we pitched we really well. The of the fifth. Mm. And now the DH, Eddie the Rosario. Eddie Rosario. The pitch. And a good that eye there. The ball. You know, these Guardians just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero oh. extra base hits in the game. I'm so impressed with my pitcher. He's, he's like mowing them over. The catcher. Whoa. Bo Naylor digs in for the Guardians. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Swings and blasts oh, into left center. <laughs> and that should be extra base. Right, here we go. Makes the turn and heads for second. And the fifth end is usually when my starters shit themselves. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing mm. around right there. First pitch fastball in a great spot yeah, to do some damage. He squared it up nicely. Oh, pitch count's great. Man. Andres Jimenez. Really, as now far as that play. goes, this is the best I've ever pitched. That's in ball. Usually my, my pitching is all over the place, well, but he's, so he's been showing to be really good man way. getting quick out. Arms extended, so right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't yeah, I mean, have as much outside plate coverage. A lot of quick out Drop contact. the grab on the run. Nothing instills more confidence take it, man. in a team than a center field. I mean, they do have a lot of contact, like but the they, they do lack they power, the, energy the Guardians. So uh, maybe that's goals. also the thing, and... Thankfully, I'm getting the, uh, and up next for Cleveland, they're, they're getting Benzie the Noel. short end of the stick. That's the outside, ball. and it's one to know. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Slap the other way, foul. Can't glove it clean. Oh, you got him. Why? You should have just. Whatever. First, and that'll do it for the game. <laughs> like, why'd you do that? Just run the first. Trail it here, two nothing. You know, he's lazy, coach. Hey, New York. What's up, buddy? You should do home run derby. Nah, home run derby to me is kind of boring. I used to, but I don't really care about that stuff. I don't even enjoy watching it anymore. I don't know, it's just boring to me. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. All right, well, I'm glad their starter's out, even though it seemed like he was starting to be more hittable. Maybe uh, their bullpen won't be so hot. I don't know, we'll see. I'm glad he's a righty. Good for my guy here. That's 
gets in there and it's 0 and 1. You and I got a chance to broadcast the 2019 All-Star game and the city of <laughs> Cleveland did such a great job. I felt like no wherever you right. turned there was some type of ad for the All-Star game. A face of one of the players Price. playing in All the right. game. Oh, look. But the city overall located that supported the well. event really well. Came Just right at me inside. That at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from it. Yeah, Moniac like that easily hit. doesn't oh, look that bad. Maybe there's wow. something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better Yeah, I don't know if it is me or they're pitching. Moving in the Good. pen for the Guardians. Christopher Brooks. This is the team that actually shut me out. What was it, last year? So, maybe I just don't yeah, like their I pitching. I don't know. Players, uh, backed it up Thankfully, they're not the, 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 the most dangerous hitting team. Between Bill Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Pete Alonso, and others, it was off the charts. Because I think when they shut me out, it was like 2 nothing. And look at it, it's 2 nothing. It's ironic. remember how special this game is. And to be here at this ballpark, uh, I think just was the icing on the cake. Settles underneath it. Hauls it in for the out. Two away down. Two outs, base is empty. Not a good day for Trout. Mike Trout. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Right. Swing and a miss. It's 0 1. 0 1. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit that of confidence. Swing. But in the back of your mind, you got to think is he trying one to one. set me up for later in this at bat? Two outs. Hammers oh, down. Oh, I didn't miss that field. one, though. I was quick on that one. There we go. It's gone, motherfucker. A massive home run. Another solo shot. <laughs> we have too much power in this lineup, man. Number 16 for Trout. Man, I'm kind of curious how many home runs we'll have as a team by the end of the season. Man, if we stay healthy, we just got so much power. <laughs> That's why we're so dangerous, man. You gotta be careful when you challenge us. Yeah. In, in Trout's out, sweet spot, too, man. Soto getting ready to hit. Low middle. And Loves it there. Start him off at strike one. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Right. Big swing and a miss. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. That one not close. Yeah, the count one and two. O2 oh, fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. It did more with that. <clears throat> Still out in front. That one Ball. almost got him. Two balls, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Here in game one of this three game set. That was a good mark. And now it's three and two. Counts full. Oh, I chased it. That would have been ball four. On the ground, four. right side. Damn it. Tosses to first. They get the out on Soto. And that is that. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 3 nothing. Back after this on the show. All right. Back here in Cleveland, Leading bottom off. of the six. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, no Stephen Kwan. And here it comes. That's the third. I like that. Guerrero One pitch. To first. One out. And a quick out My lord, I am. I'm nice seriously job. getting quick out. I'm having kind of the, the game of my life as far as that goes. Because usually when I'm pitching, it's a problem. Jake Fox digs in now. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Swings through that one. At Ranger game, one. we didn't even know what pitching was. Time. Back when this ballpark <laughs> opened, 1994. Looking one good here, though. Famer hit the first now, granted, this lineup's not park. nearly as good as the Texas Rangers. But. By Cleveland player. Think you know they I mean, they're, they're making okay, contact. The Jr. They just the have, like, no power. Here, but first this is why I like to have power in my lineup. I don't want to have a bunch of women in my lineup. Eddie Murray, no doubt. Bam. One and two. It's nice to put it in play, in but the the you're going to hit it like 50 miles per hour or something. Like that. <laughs> you know, it's like you're kind of helping a pitcher out by helping him get quick outs. 
the third base. That's why I stay away from them vagina hitters. <laughs> Here's Jose Ramirez. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys no, are he's not a vagina hitter. sacrificing contact to deliver power. But yeah, looking at their hitting, they don't have too much power. Rips Him, Cruz, no trouble and here. that uh, young guy, kind of. And that is yeah, the third out of the inning. The rest of them, good score. contact, they trail no power. This one, three nothing. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Sam Hentges. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic mm. open move right here. So we'll see how it works out. I'll have to see how deep I'm going to go with Chase. So and now he's for the Angels, the Nolan Shanuel. Yeah, looking good, man. Nolan Shanuel. Oh, well, I'm facing a lefty. Um, well, I'll just go with it. Work. He's got to learn to hit him. There's a strike. That's why his uh, thing shrunk a lot. He uh, he hates lefties. Loves righties, hates lefties. Pitch misses. Ball. One ball, one strike. But if he's going to improve, he's going to learn to hit him. Right, right through there for a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Kicks and deals. That was a ball. It misses, it's a strikeout. Yeah. Definitely struck out a lot in this one. Here's Glaber Torres. That wasn't a good matchup anyways. Game. He really can't hit lefties. <clears throat> now Torres, he loves lefties. Miss just the off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Well, uh, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked oh, a little shocked it. for a second there. One out, base is empty. That Back one's in one. there. Now two balls and a strike. And it's fouled away. I was late on that. I wasn't late. Man, I would have done a lot to that. Oh, my God, Jerry. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Get the ass. Two away. Surprise. He's so off. Coming out of the pen so far as he punches out. That's some really off-balance swings in this one. Straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. And that is cut on and missed. That was a good pitch. Oh, two down. He's in a great no spot ball. right here. Ahead in the count, 0-2. Oh, All four pitches in play right here, partner. One ball. And that's three. in the dirt. One and two to count. Two down, nobody on. Huh. Bounce it off, still one and two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Next ball, offering upstairs. Up. Outside. Full count. Two outs. Cut it. Looking for the K. I was hoping that'd be lower. Angels go down one, two, three. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. I think he struck out five. Bottom of the seventh. Now the full home will hit over the Guardians. O'Neill Cruz. Oh, yeah. Hitting is all about anticipation, and right now, this lineup is struggling with it. Their swings are mistimed, and it's produced uh -uh, a few ball. ugly cuts here and there. One ball, no strike. The shortstop takes the ball. That ball. one misses. And that's ball three. Huh. Expect for that guy to come. Oh, now, right now you uh, with a fastball, something in the zone. Now you're not showing command, huh? Ball four. Yeah, that's ball four. Man. All right, well, that was random. Now that you don't want to. All right, whatever. Really I mean, he had a lot of power. One. Don't want to wake a team up. One of their rare power hitters. Henry McCain. May you want to start warming up bullpen. Bottom in the seventh, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty fresh. 
Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels Let's like it's what the doctor ordered. Torres. There's one. Oh, there's two. Thank you very much. Man, I cannot believe how well he's pitching. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Oh, one. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. That, that was not a good pitch. Belted. Yeah. That's back there. I hope that stays. Yeah, this should stay. And two out double. And he's got a double. Well, a swing like that can help you he come out of this trouble. Hits. We saw the numbers <clears throat> coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team run. So, man aboard, and now the catcher comes up to him. Bo Naylor, one for two. First no, pitch doesn't in. find the zone. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Hey Swings through that one. One one. The one one. That's the ball. That's inside. The Angels leading by three. You're the bottom of the seventh. Good eye nope. right there. Oh. Andres Jimenez. Three and one. To bat next. And it's second. On the ground. There you go. Third. He would have walked, I think. <clears throat> the throw to first. There you go. Play made. That ends the inning. One left for the Guardians. Still down. Three nothing. What one thing I'm acknowledging uh, on Hall of Fame, at least, is like when their confidence is really high. Like his confidence is high. That's probably why he's been throwing strikes most of the time and probably pitching well. But when it's not, it's below 50%. Oh, my God. Times don't know where it's going. <clears throat> Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Christopher Brooks. Well, you see the ERA very solid. And that doesn't always tell you the whole we story. But he's been really the good so far hitter. this year. Marcel. Marcelo Zuna oh, yeah. now at the plate. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. That was a nice changeup. It is rookie season, just 19 years old. And he was a second oh. round pick back in 2025. <clears throat> right through there for a strike. That big curve inside is a pitch that can buckle you a little bit. Looks like a fastball out of hand and then just drops over. I cannot believe I did not make contact on that. It the bender for the strike was, uh, was my oh, timing off or did I just swing sure through it? Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit I just swung through it. No I'd kidding. Very hittable location, but yeah, I was kind of like, I, I can't even believe I didn't there. make contact on that. That was Ozuna. He just swung through it. Preparing to come on if needed. All right. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the eight. This guy had a good ERA. I'm, I'm thinking he's pretty good. Fouled off. My uh, PCI really drunk here. <clears throat> Next <laughs> offering is in for a strike. I thought that was a ball. And oh, another ball. Not. Yeah, I think I'm just facing a, a good pitching team. One misses all three. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Worm that was a good hit. That was that was ball four, but I, I stuck with so it. So now back to the top of the order. They've done a good job Seems getting like me to chase exactly like that. Looking for right there. Mm. Couldn't get any air under it. That was just solid hitting. Back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got yeah, it was perfect timing, almost. No ah. Even though it was good timing, not perfect. Moniac. I felt that like that was perfect. Down, takes a strike. Next ball. pitch misses. One and one. One ball, one strike. There you go. That's a base hit. There you go. Lead runner makes the turn. It's I didn't really want him to go. He's in there.
I didn't tell him to go, but okay, okay, he made it. I was like, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> That's a little too aggressive. Trevor Stephan. Oh, he took him out. The there you go. He doesn't get a couple a lot of singles compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact. Yeah, all their guys have like really good ERAs. This is why they're a good team. They just have good pitching. Not too impressed with their offense. Not just because they haven't scored, but it's like looking at their hitting attributes, they're not that good of a hit team. They're all pitching. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Well, that bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Swings oh. and he pops it up near the pitcher's mouth. Naylor under it. I was all over that too. Just uh, and there's two popped away. it up. It was a good pitch. Hey, Alvin, what's up, buddy? Mike. I think 23 is similar to 24. I think it depends on what mode you play road to the show is better in 24 oh really i still thought about doing road to the show i don't know sometimes that shit gets a little boring i've always been a franchise guy and the first pitch misses for ball one well this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter you can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Didn't lower my swing, man. Swung on top of that. <clears throat> the one one. Yeah, that one. I chase that one. I love it down with Trout, though. Trout loves the low pitches. Yeah, the right hander deals. Ground ball up the middle. What a stop! Fires to first. It's there, and that's a great play. <sighs> Making it look oh, wow. easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. <clears throat> we'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. How's the season going so far? I mean, we're above 500. We were like a 500 team, but this past week we've been super hot. And welcome back to the so it looks like, I mean, unless the pitching, I mean, our bullpen's been blowing it, so we'll see. I still have my starter out here. Uh, this is actually a record for me. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with him. I mean, Antone is ready. He's the one, one of very few relievers that we can count on. But uh, I may start warming up Nick Gordon here. It's a save situation right now. Even though he's blown a couple saves. One and one. And the righty deals. Ground ball, Vlad Jr. Fires across the diamond. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. I just can't believe, out of all my pitchers, Chase is the one that's really going deep for me. Shut out innings, too. In for the I am outfield deep whatever. here, trying to prevent anything <laughs> over their <laughs> this heads. This is so baseball, man. You just never know. You never know. In the air, right? This is like when we called Mike up, our rookie. He, he he pitched super well against the Mets, what, like through six innings? And it's just like... Soto gets under all my other guys, they suck. Danival's okay. Uh, he's really our ace. But the other guys, it's like they suck, you know? Back to the top of the lineup, Stephen Kwan, the next to hit. Three ground outs already. He's over three. And our bullpen, that's a shit show. <laughs> no, this manager knows that his awful. players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected. And the yeah, I didn't anticipate this. I was like, eh, if he gives me like five innings, a couple oh, runs allowed, you know, Next that's fine. In the dirt. That's been our formula with our starting. But uh, he's going above and beyond. Fouled off. Something I'm not accustomed to with this uh, this year's team. Two down, nobody on. Full count. I think he's about out of gas, though. The right-hander yeah. gives yeah. up the two-out walk. 
Well, he started with a little gas to me, and we'll see if yeah, they go to the ball. It may be about that time. There's two out. So two down, stepping up for the Guardians. Jake Fox, 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike, going one. Here's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, get a lockdown closer. Oh, ready to come looks in. like he's going to do it. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Wow. Eight shutout innings by freaking Chase. Leave one. They trail How? Three nothing. How? He's not going to get it, motherfucker. Really, out of all the motherfuckers. That I've pitched with you, yeah, huh? Started. So now the angel cleanup the hitter, Juan Soto. Juan Soto. And I, you know, I give now watch. I'll bring in Nick Jordan. He he gives up like five runs, and I'm gonna be like, you know, there's some some shit going on here. <laughs> here comes a pitch. That one misses. Ball one. One zero. Hey, Rocks infield. Hey Nathan, what's up guys? Just oh. missed. <clears throat> when you get ahead in the count, Two there's no doubt that the success rate goes up, and that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Kicks and fires. Yeah. There's a strike, 95 of that one. This one chopped up the middle. Cruz out of first. Now one gone in the ninth. Now batter. Nolan Shonowell, the Nolan next to hit for the Angels. First nope, pitch, ball. and he just misses. One out. the belt and fires and there's a hit so they get a man aboard with a one out down below this game well that's not pop like that I mean we can trust my bullpen here is Glaber Torres he's already homered here in this one swing ah. and a miss can't swing Four high one. enough oh and one <sighs> couldn't raise my swing And a pitch. Right oh, God. Come, come, come on. 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 A one two rolled the shirt, yeah. possible two ball to him. Oh. Double play, yeah. and that'll do it for the end. Yeah, I had trouble with their pitching overall. Bottom Just. of the night coming up, and we'll see if he can complete the shutout after the break. They have good pitching back now at progressive field. Bottom of the night. Now it's Jose. Ramirez. They just can't hit. All right, well, Nick. The new pitcher in the game, no. Nick Jordan. Don't stop dick. You've blown five days. saves. But come on, buddy. You're going to be my future closer. We've got to do it. Let's go. Now, you're facing their best hitters, so it's not easy, but As he turns on the if Chase can do it, you can do it. Delivered. Just keep that in mind. Just if Chase missed. can fucking do it, you can do it. Strike. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you one can't one. get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. And now one and two. One and two. And a pitch. There you go, perfect location there. That's what he needs to, because he, uh, he's not going to blow it by you. 
off. Close the door. Yeah. Yeah. Cancel any hope that that Ooh. opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit. To you know, if, if this hours. holds up, this Three. may be my this will be my first shutout with this team on Hall of Fame. It will be. Right. Wow, my, my bad pitching can do it. We can do it. Guys, right, so I probably jam him. Now I'm gonna give up a run. How that shit goes. Out of bounce right side. Shanaway. Uh, tell me we got him. Two up, two down. Yeah. Good job, Nick. Getting over there. Now better. All right. Two outs. One more, man. Get our first shutout. Last out for the Guardians. The Guardians have such a girly lineup. Henry McCain, 0 for three with two ground outs and a strikeout. In there for strike This McClain guy, though, in a few years, this guy's gonna be a monster. They're down to their final strike. The Halos trying to close out a three-run lead. They're the last half of inning number nine. Lift it to oh my God, I'm going to get it. Do it. Don't drop it. He's oh my God, my in. first freaking the shutout. Extend their winning streak to five in a row. You know, and that's, this is the team that the shut me out last level. year, I think it was. So, man. Payback's a bitch, motherfucker. Payback's a bitch. You shut me out, I shut you out. What do you think of that? This is the kind of feeling. It's not gonna last all season long. Chase Candy, man. My God. Ever since we called him back up, he's been hot. Cause his ERA's been really going down. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomping. Yeah, I did strike out a lot. Um, I could have walked a few times. I, I was chasing, for sure. I got a little aggravated. But those three solo shots, that's pretty much the offense. And four singles. No doubles. Uh, I didn't strike them out a lot. Yeah, I mean, they have good contact. They have, like, no power, man. They just proved to me why I don't want no vagina hitters. Yeah, I struck them out five, two walk. They had two doubles out of their four hits. Yeah, I mean, they're pitching, besides that Kevin Cruz guy, which I did get a run off of. They all have really good ERA, so I think they just have good pitching. Their pitching is just really good. Thankfully, mine actually showed up for a change. But yeah, Chase, like, I remember, like, we started the season, he sucked major dick, and I was like, well, I'm not surprised. And then, uh, you know, we send him down, right? Call up dickhead for a little bit. And then we needed pitching due to injury, so I called him back up, and he's been super hot. Go figure. Yeah, as you can see, we're on a hot streak right now. Um, so we have the Royals next. They're actually having a good year. So yeah, now he has a, a 3.25 ERA. Um, I don't think who to go with this go around. Uh, I could go with Mike. Stim the rest of this series, and uh, we shut them out again. <laughs> they really can't hit. They did get us that one for seven, but that's their problem. They're, they're not a good offense, offensive team. They're all pitching. Well, that's good. We took two out of three against a good team. Um, yeah, we're we're really starting to heat up. All right. And then, you know, I, I look at Mike as the magic bottle. Ever since we called him up, we, we on our team changed a bit. Do it. Oh, actually, let's see what they uh, look like, the Royals. I mean, they're doing good this year. Yeah, they still have Bobby Witt Jr. He's 
I'm surprised he's not a 99 overall. Or well, he looks like he was. He got a lot worse. He's just having a down year. Huh. Huh. Yeah, they hurt his contact. It'll probably go back up though. Oh, they locked him in for a long time. Yeah. They probably gave him like a 10 year deal. And they signed him. He was a free agent. Yeah, he's pitching well for them. You guys mentioned that I should have picked him up. Uh, what are they paying him? Not bad. 13 for three years. Not bad. And they picked it. They actually, uh, they spent some money. They picked him up. Uh, they, they picked up a good closer. Okay. Really, the Royals are... Yeah, they're really not a bad team. They uh, they made some moves, man. We'll see. I almost wonder if they'll be better than uh, the Guardians. We'll see. Oh, really? So yeah, facing Kyle Wright. He's having a good year. Uh, facing a righty. Get Trout playing center field again. Uh, I'm, I'm going to let Moniac DH. Yeah. The reason why, for those of you new, the reason why I have Trout mainly DH in is uh, just so he doesn't get hurt. I'm thinking about letting my catcher have the day off. Um, he's he's swinging really hot right now. His power has gone up. I mean, 13 home runs. He's he's on pace to having his best home run year. Last year was his best year so far. 22 homers. He's slowly becoming a better hitter. Yeah, he's. I wonder how much money I'm gonna have to pay him next year. Um, this is his last year. We'll see. Yeah, I'll use my uh, backup catcher. Give him a day off. <clears throat> Since I'm facing a righty. And that's probably it. Yeah, everything looks good. Ba boom. Yeah, we actually don't have too many high averages this year. Really, uh, Torres over 300. We've just been hitting home runs. That's the kind of lineup that we are. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show brings you game one of a big four-game set. It's the Kansas City Royals and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, just about ready for baseball. Here you go. Had you get a bottle. The slab, number 28. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie doesn't really So far, man. He's been uh, perfect for he us as far as three starts, girls, three and out. Soft contact, let See if you can make it four him. straight, right? And I think a guy like that can keep, keep a good tip. All right, here we go. Royals are ready. We are ready. We'll see what he's got in this one. And let's do it. Sliced hard but foul. All right, we're under away. And now the 01. Ball oh. one there. Well, he's so great right about one. hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The lefty fires. And there's a ball. Do I work? <clears throat> excuse me. Do I work tomorrow? Yeah, I do. Yep. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, can't pick it up. Sorry, quickly. you got him. But the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first down. Yeah, let's take a look at the lineup. One guy they want to get turned around in the sixth spot, Michael Massey. Yeah, and Boog, sometimes yeah. all you need when you're slumping like this is just a little bit of confidence. You need a little bit of luck. Want it back, or you hit the ball hard. Maybe it's caught, no big deal. Or maybe you get a bleeder that gets time. you a hit. You just need to feel good about the at-bat, and that's when things start to turn a little bit. We'll see if he can do that in this one. That one down the line, yeah. and that's just foul. This guy has one 95 contact, empty. but, like, no power, like 30 power. <laughs> so, a foul ball makes it one and two. Oh, nipped it. Down. You thought it was going to be a ball. Haha, -ha, good job. Good job, Mike. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. All right, you know he's having a, an off year so far. He's still super dangerous. That's the third. Oh, that's a miracle. He's fast, though. Got to get rid of it. Zips it across. There we go. Good job, Mike. Order. One, two, three. Nothing doing for the Royals. Mm. And now the Angels will get their first opportunity in this one. No score. You're right. down. Back here with my pal Siggy. I may have to Today's rename Mike pitcher, Magic Kyle Man. Wright. Magic Mike. Yeah, as Rip tells you, he's <laughs> been pretty effective <laughs> this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and, and then being able to really Angels. distract him Let's and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So we're taking the mound. Oh, yeah. This is a guy oh, you want out there if you're his teammate, and I expect him to be good in this one. Mickey Monia at the plate and takes high there. Breaking ball in there for a strike. That pitch kind of threw me off. Swings Aye. through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. <laughs> No. Swing and a miss. Uh, do not swing a check. Struck him out. Damn check did not work. I knew it was a ball. God damn it. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. First pitch just misses. Right. He has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. Hey. You like that in a relief that was pitcher, pretty hard. when you have it. Yeah, like it's pretty good stuff. Get out of a tight spot. That is pretty valuable. Lifted in the air right I was, like, I was, I was hoping he would hang that. Long. He hung that one. Looks Missed it, though. Hoping to get yeah, at least a double outs. out of that. Hey, Nick, right, what's up, buddy? Look at the Angels lineup. An offense that knows how to mash, Chris. Lots of power. Yeah, we definitely know how to mash. We can hit homers. Get homers right now. Yeah, and I think when you're facing a team like this, pitchers coming hey. in, they see <clears> the stats. They end up trying to nibble, trying to work on the edges, trying to expand the zone. And so I think the key, if these hitters can stay within themselves, obviously they have the ability to hit the ball a long way and score runs quickly. So we'll see how it goes in this one. There's a swing and a miss. It affects the game in so many ways, right? Your ability to come good back is chasing. usually tied to power. If you can deliver... I'm not happy with myself right now. That's some bad vision right there. He has good stuff. I mean, this guy has really good stuff, but those are easy layoffs. I was too aggressive. The wind of the pitch. Need to be better than that. Just missed. I think I need more coffee. I think that's my that's my problem. Inside, just missed. Ricky Holiday, our umpire behind the dish, known as pretty fair umpire for both hitters and pitchers. Yeah, I think that's right, Boo. There is a little inconsistency on the corners of the plate. You can't always nope. be sure okay. how it's going to go with those borderline pitches as the game progresses. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And it's ball oh. three missed down low. Mike. Well, he tried to nibble right there. I was like, I was just trying just to kind of lob it in there. Didn't offer at it. Now he has something forever. to worry about Jake. over at first. Fraley. Jake Fraley steps in for the Royals. First pitch doesn't find the zone. 
Fraley getting the start in right hitting fifth in today's lineup and he's been on a good run at the plate hitting over 300 in his last 10 games can't find it here that's six straight balls six straight balls Mike runner at first with no outs here Right center, I knew that was going to happen. Struck. I wanted that down. I don't think it was in a terrible spot, but he just doesn't have an overpowering. We have a chance to get him at home, though. He scores and they have the lead. No, that sucks. Got punished for that uh, lead off walk. Well, there goes shout out. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're better than the uh, Guardians. Actually, they look like they have a better lineup. Uh, I'm looking at their hitting attributes. They, they can hit better than the Guardians, I can already tell you. There's a strike. Missed inside with the curb. One on, nobody out. A run in here at the top of the second. Chase that Mike's time. not showing the command this inning. Oh shit, I hit the wrong button. Fuck. Lifted in Somebody the got away right with that. Alright. Brings it in. Got away Runner with that. For third. And he makes it up to third with one away. I got one out. Got it. Got it. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up Eugenio. to the plate now. One away with a runner at third. That's a big out right there. All right, we have a chance to get out of this. He's seen the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. And that's in the dirt. Next oh, pitch is outside. Yeah. And that one fouled off. Two outs. Oh, oh Mike. Could be extra bases. His command is definitely off in this inning. And he doesn't have Bring like on. overpowering second, stuff, so it, it's double. about command well done, for him. He's going to be successful. Ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not mm -hmm. one you're excited to right. get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. Man at second here with two away. Rodolfo Duran steps in for the Royals. To third. Oh, and he can't thankfully slow. You got him. But they get the he out at first, oh. and that'll do it. That's inning. the defense. Usually, I'm so aware of. <laughs> two hits, no Guerrero, he, he, he's like that. He'll either make a spectacular play, or like he'll look like that. That's how he is in real life, too. It's you know. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Royals two. They kind of nailed the that. <clears throat> Bottom of the second. Watch Soto down. Right. Oh, we have some catching up to do. And the pitch. Soto. So after scoring oh, runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown. Kind of focus. Get that this this guy actually does have good stuff. <clears throat> pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. A wind of the pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Didn't want to swing. My, my check swing's not working very well. Meant to check there. That one way inside. Ooh, there was a mistake. Good idea. That one didn't have a lot of break. Strikes. Back 
boy. To the left and we'll do it again. I dare you to challenge me again. Swung on top of that sinker. He did Swing it too. Same bitch. Just missed it, There's man. Good timing on it. Missed the gap. That is good. The first baseman. And here's the first baseman. Am I going to play till three? Uh, we'll, we'll see. Probably not till three because I want to watch the Yankee game before work. So we'll, we'll see. I'm winging it. We have a lot of time. More than an RBI per game over his last 10. First oh, off, bringing it just misses. We'll definitely get to the draft this stream. And another ball. ball. He's been raking in recent games. I'm really impressed with this guy's stuff. He, he really has good stuff. Counts. He's been able to do that consistently. And you see the Aye. results. Right through there for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. And no one can mm. get there. So a man aboard now with one away. What he does. Contact hitter versus right. Hey, Torres up to the plate. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Oh. Off the mark there. One and oh. Count one and oh. The pitch. Oh. <laughs> Massey. That was a mistake. Way underneath that. And he makes the catch. Two away. I didn't raise my swing high enough. Right the the yeah, he oh, got away with that one. Brandon, Brandon yeah, away. I, I didn't miss it by much. Yesterday afternoon. Just oh, missed. Boy, perfect timing on that hanger. I didn't miss that. There you go. It's gone, motherfucker. And you know, I shouldn't say it was a hanger. It just had too much to play. It was knee high. But I consider it a hanger because it's a breaking ball. So as long as you're on point, you can do that. And I, I you know, to, for me, it's always easier to hit them the lower they are naturally. So. I uh, I had perfect timing on that shit. That felt good. <laughs> it always feels good. Man, I love this lineup. We have so much home run power. 447. There you go, Brandon. Woo! <laughs> Angels, baby. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. And next for LA, Marcelo Zuna. It is how much power we have. Oh, Ozuna's batting eighth, and he has 90 power. He has 17 home runs this year. And that's oh, down it away. Right. Maybe a little less yeah, really, aggressive on the mound. I'm kind of right surprised now, I was able to get Ozuna run, for like yeah, 6 million for you know, just this year. Out, feel good, but then all of a sudden I was like, up he'll a be a good bit, dangerous hitter batting towards the end of the lineup. Instead of pitch, kind of balance the lineup. Been working. That, one close, rule that was pretty much the pitch I uh, and one. just launched. Good spot there, but this is a little more middle. Knees, and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Next pitch in for a strike. Oh, that's where and he wants it. Full. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out <clears> to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, well, partner, every pitcher's a little That's different. Well, well, I, I liken different. it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track. I think I'm throw pitches this way. inning. That's good. Uh, so perhaps good it's catcher. the same with him. <clears throat> Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Matt Theis comes up to hit here. Oh, yeah, that's too high. Two runs across in the inning. Bottom yeah, a pitcher like this, two. try to work him. If I can make him make some mistakes, got him make a couple, and I finally there, nailed him on one. one, one. Like he's uh he's approaching 40 pitches, so that first inning he dominated, but you know just trying to, to the play. trying to get him to trying to wear him down, you know. Execute a change up right there. That's if always been my strategy if I can help it. Sometimes be better said than done. In terms of him turning this outing around. Easier said than done.
Righty delivers. That was probably a ball. Yeah. I, I just can't do that. Help him out. Especially with my weakest hitter there. Two two game. Oh, well. watching Major League Baseball on the show. Hey, tie game though. This game's gonna be a little more, uh, I think, action packed than that Guardians game. I think Guardians they just had a a girly hitting team. Back here at Angel Stadium. At the I'm actually, uh, it's funny, like, you can't always go by overall, you know, you just, that's why I like looking at their team, their players, and I'm like, yeah, and no, I was kind of like looking at them, and I was like, man, that, I'm more impressed with this team than uh, the Guardians, personally. The one thing I was impressed with the Guardians, that 20-year-old they drafted, that guy, that guy's gonna be a bad motherfucker, that McCain guy, that dude's gonna be a beast. The pitch. Misses outside, outside. And that is ball one. And a foul ball. The one one is fouled off. Here's a one-two. Ah, he left it up. Yeah, after that first inning, Mike's not the showing the, the best hit. command. So a runner aboard to start mm. the inning. Yeah, everything yeah, came together up. for him. That everything was on time and blew it in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center. He bailed the hitter out by doing that. And now it's Kyle Isbell. Caught looking his first time up. Runner on the ground. Oh, they're going. There's a ball. There, he's got it, yeah. And that's a stolen I wasn't base, paying attention. Not even close. Go with a good arm behind the dish. It's definitely a roll of the dice here to try to steal second base. Man, he can zip it down there so quickly. That was a pretty good throw as well. But man, that would have really been a double play too. Base. He could be pretty proud of himself. That's sad. Torres fires over to first. I'm very sad. And one away in the top of the third. Now that digging that. in, Bobby, Bobby Witt. I may want to walk him. For one. I really you know, may want to walk him. This is a player with some serious speed. In 2023, he became the first player in 20 years to record two infield hits and an inside the park home run in the same oh, we'll game. See. Oh, one one out, the runner at second as we play game one of this four-game series. That oh. misses, and it's one and one. One and one. Swing and a miss, well, and that's strike two. One ball. I have a chance here. Um, I'll stick with the splitter. I'll see if I can get him to chase another one. To the right oh, side. See, that's what I was afraid of, because he's such a good player. Damn, I should have walked him. It's offline. The run comes in. Showed him too many. Yeah, whatever. Did have mixed it up. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Yeah, the batter now, MJ Melendez. And a foul ball. Wit at first, one gone. Watching you, Wit. Next pitch misses inside, and it's a ball to strike. On the this could be what the doctor ordered. The There's tournament. one. And There's two. two. All right, thank you. Jeez. So one run in the inning on this base hit. Yeah, it's that was a uh, two ball game. That was me being a bad Major manager on the show. You know, you gotta be better than that. You know, facing a good hitter like that. Can't be pitching like that. Back Take care, Nathan. As we go to the last of the third. Now it's the DH, Mickey Monia. The right hander back to work. Not even close there. And that's ball one. Right through there for a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Out in front of that. Rip that. The 1-2. Battling here as he fouls it away.
and Fights get that lift that away, one a little more up. Two. Still a ball though, I just too close to take. Right hander kick steals. That Fights was not a good pitch. We'll see another. Just uh, slightly late on it. He keeps doing that though. I'm gonna get a good swing on that. Got me chasing again, but he's going to make a mistake with that if he keeps doing that. A two -strike pitch and he'll see another. Like I'm telling you, I'm getting better swings on it. So watch yourself. Out on strikes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change. No, I, I didn't want to swing. The check swing just isn't working. That's why I was late. It's supposed to be a check swing. If you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch it. Where? Not fucking working. Tapped it. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. <clears throat> the one-two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The Angels down by a run here in the last half of the third. Next oh, pitch is outside. Good. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. And that one is lifted in the air. Sizes this one up. Hauls it in for the out. That's out number two. Here's Trout. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Mark. Wow. Would chase that time. Oh and that's outside. Down. Two and oh. He hasn't wanted to challenge him both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just Ball have to be patient and take your walk here. Most of all, I want to swing with Trout. Uh, Soto's on deck, and I don't like swinging 3-0. That's fine. I mean, that's a good pitch, even though that's where I love it with Trout. That's in there. And the count's really Yeah, late well, I decision. I thought about taking again, and I did end up taking it. Doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off. Boy, and he did it again. That was playing with fire. We'll do it again. All right. Two outs. Now you, I don't think you're doing that again. Right. Bitch, bitch! I gave up on that too early. Thinking it was a fastball up. Motherfucker. Through there, got him. I'll give him credit. He wouldn't walk me. Motherfucker. And a nice inning of work there as he, he manned up. I was like, yeah, he's going to pussy out. Angels oh, you motherfucker. There. And we're back. <laughs> and now the right fielder. <laughs> Gave up on it way too early. Not reading the ball very well tonight. Oh, bitch. Sometimes, like, I'm really on point bitch. on that, but not tonight. Price. That one the other way makes the catch and there's one. Ball. I like that one so pitch, one out. The dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some <clears> high <throat> fives. You know, when you make great Michael. contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Mass takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. And there's a foul ball. The one one is careful, foul Mike. Off. <clears throat> careful, buddy. Left hand batter waits. Sends him down looking. Go. I think it's his second strikeout. Yeah. Same, same, uh, <laughs> both of his strikeouts was with that curve right away. I think I'm fooling the hitters like that. They're thinking it's, well, actually, that was a ball. I mean, I thought it was. I'm just like, I'll take it, you know? It's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Two outs, space is empty. Hitter was right. Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. There's a strike.
ever try timing? Oh, the, the time hitting thing? That thing's bogus. I have tried it, and uh, it's really, it's not good. No, I don't like it. And now, if it works for you, hey, Two go for it. Um, Top half of inning number four. I, I have tried it out of curiosity, and uh, nah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Hard hit, right I, li side. I like using the zone hitting way to more. Because I feel one, like, two, you know, it, it still does require uh, some, not like just like some skill, but like you have more control as far as you want to try to hit it over right field or left field. Try to hit a home run if you can get underneath it enough it, with the right hitter. You know, if you want the ball on the ground, you want to swing pretty much right, which is hard sometimes, depending on that pitcher, right on point. So, like, your little dot, you want it on the ball to get that line drive or uh, just slightly on top, you know. Then you just try to direct it which way you want to go. Now, I mean, that's easier said than done. But, you know, if you're... If you're like a pro at it, yeah. I mean, zone zone hitting Royals is where, are where it's at. There, but they still the need control where you want to hit it. I don't know. I just like it. Just feels more natural. And so. back to the ball the Bottom four. But uh, and now it's sometimes I'm on point. Sometimes I'm really right off. I feel like tonight I'm, I've been off overall. I mean, that's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch. Strikes. I'm a weird hitter. Sometimes uh, you can't pitch to me. Sometimes you can. Next offering is in for a strike. Like tonight, I feel like I'm not really reading the, the pitches very well. Now, maybe I'm just facing good pitching tonight. Because I am impressed with this guy's stuff. He seems pretty good, and that uh, gay guy or whatever, he, uh, I had issues reading his stuff, so even though I wasn't too impressed with his stuff. I don't know. And he deals. Oh. And he grounds one back yeah, I swung on top of it. That's why it was a ground ball. Over but I'm shaking my head because I should have should did more. I uh, should have lowered my swing. Uh, bad read on that late break. That was a sinker. That was a, cha a change-up, excuse me. Yeah, my timing was good. Just swung on top of it. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. It was a shame. Normally, that would have been a hit up the middle. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. They had their uh, guy there. Oh, you motherfucker. I'm having some bad luck this inning. You can almost argue, like, potentially both of those could have been singles. Had perfect timing on that. <laughs> yeah, I swung just underneath it, but, yeah. The angle of the zone, that, that's why it went on the right side, you know. That misses the zone, and the count is one yeah. and one. Actually, ma making good contact this inning, just, yeah, bad luck. Now, it's funny, I didn't get, and um, I mean, I did get my PCI there, but barely. That's why I hit it like that. That, now, that's the ironic thing, and that happens in real life. You know, that one wasn't as solid contact, but look at that. Found a hole. Base hit. Boom. Effective. <laughs> Gotta love baseball. <laughs> Yeah, I hit kind of the handle on the bat. Definitely not the good part of the bat. Which makes sense where my, yeah, where my thing was. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So I went from unlucky to getting a lucky hit. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Kicks and deals. Late with the swing yeah. there. Man, 91. Shitty, shitty swing. Why did I? I don't know why I thought that was something else. Even if my timing was good, I was missing that. I swung well. Almost did it again. That's Torres, the runner at first with two gone. Next pitch is downstairs. And that one lifted oh, in the it. air center field. <clears throat> Isbell under this one. And the inning is over. 
Angels leave one. They trail it 3 2. Directional is that zone. Um, so directional, you're using the analog stick instead of your. I hate directional hit. I don't want to explain it. it it's pretty gay. I, I've always hated that. I, uh, now the, the hardcore wannabe pros, they'll say that's the real skill level. Um, I mean, it's like anything. You can get good at it. It's just kind of gay. I don't know. That's where I'll piss those guys off. That shit's gay. I don't like it. Now, if you like it, go we for go it. We go to the top we of the fifth, and now the DH, Paul DeYoung. I, I never liked it. DeYoung, a former All-Star, 32 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. The wine of the pitch. That's hey. in there. Strike one. Swing and a ball popped up. Settles under it. One away. Oh, wow. Well, thank you for the generous donation, Nick. You know, do that, buddy. Mike Hunt. Rodolfo. Mike Hunt. Here's the catcher, Rodolfo Duran. Grounded out his first time up. He's been going oh, after these guys good. consistently, and as a result, He's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. And here it comes. Swing and a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. Right through there for a strike. <clears throat> Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. Oh, there you go. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. That was pinpoint command right there. That's, that's all his strikeouts, just hitting the edge. We're getting a generous call. That was a strike right there on. That was a dot. He wasn't. That was a dot. That was not a dot. <laughs> that was not a dot. <laughs> Common way of getting it done. Oh, that's not good, dude. Gotta deal with him. One for two. Um. There's a strike. Right, that was a dot. Let's keep it that way. Duran, the lead runner at second, <laughs> Isbell. On at first with two down. There you go. Okay. Like there are one more dot over right where I want it. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. Uh, let's go with the curveball. Come on, good one. Oh, and he did throw a good one. He thought it was going to be a ball. There you go. Knee high. Knee high. There you go, Mike. There you go. There you go. He's the magic man. Bottom of the inning. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every the game here. swing he takes. Close, but call the ball. ball that was ball. a good pitch. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound. He's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be That's too perfect. bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clicked the corner. Action in the pen down there. Cole Reagan appears to be getting loose. Lynch getting cranked hey. up as well. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's two and one. Ah, why did I not swing at that? That was a hanger, man. Crush. Just okay. off the outside corner. Three and two now. Matt Dykes <clears throat> hitting on deck circle. Slow ground ball to the right side. And it's just foul. That was close. 
Yeah. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Hard hit, left side. He hung it and swung on top of it. Tosses the oh. first, and that's the first out in the bottom of the oh, fifth. For the Angels. The catcher. Yeah. And next for the Angels, Matt right. Dice. Struck out swinging his first time. That's off the mark. Ball Can Yankees win Friday, Aces Joey? I hope so. Away. Last half of inning number five. So far, they're looking uh, good. To the left, into foul ground, drifts towards it, makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now that the deputy Cole Reagan into the game. And as relievers go, he's got Makes a big glad their starters out. out. He, he was pretty contact, tough. So command and he execution was tough. are huge for him. <clears throat> Moni in the box Ooh. with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. That was a strike. That was a damn good pitch. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a Drop. lazy fly ball. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Not a good matchup for uh, Moniak. He hates two. lefties. Well, that's kind of what you expected in 0 2 Cal. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off the pitch. Yeah, that, that just wasn't a good matchup for him. Out. Angels retired 1 2 3. Angels held in check. Back here at Angel Stadium. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. So up now for Kansas City, MJ Melendez. The why to kick the pitch. And oh, that's off inside. the inside edge. And it's one to know. And delivers outside. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2 0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Right through there for a strike. Gets the call. And the count's yeah, over to two. Well, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Bounce to the left side. Slings it across. Lead-off man retired in the six. <clears throat> up next for the Royals. The and next up for the Royals, Jake Fraley. Ball in for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. That's and downstairs. Ball. One ball, one strike. Not ball, close with that one, one. Two and one. That's Just missed. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Outside ah, of that is ball four. Not a good one that time. <clears throat> Man at first with one gone. Here's the second, second baseman, baseman, Michael Massey. Michael Massey. And here's the strike. And ball one. One run game, one out, one on. And now two and one. Oh, there we go. We picked second. him off. The tag and he's there you go. Second. Good job, Mike. Good move. Red ones. There we go. Two outs. And he hits a ground ball right side. Gets it to first. All right, good job, Mike. That's out number three. Nothing across here. He's this battling. Hand. Two, three, four, two up in the home half of the sixth. 
It's the Royals three and the Angels two. We need to score some runs here. Got their starter out. Back in Anaheim, John Chappie with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Hey. Nice ball for a strike. Going to one. Well, they say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. There's a little bit more confidence to move to the attack. Jelly. Up the middle with. You gotta be better than that. One away, bottom of the six. You have to have better uh, plate vision, man. Chased it. And now batting Mike Trout. That's what he wanted you to do. Oh, that got big. Trout must love this pitcher randomly. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. John Schreiber up and throwing. Castro also getting ready. Swings hey. through that. Just a little too quick on that. Front shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No way of making contact with that one. A lot of change up. One down, base is empty. And it just misses. It's a good take. Got him looking, pitch. and he didn't like the call. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout. And this not a good day for him, bro. So he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to... Oh, my God, Jeffy. Jesus Christ. He helped him again. He handles it himself. Three up, three down. I don't know why. I didn't like that changeup. He was locating it pretty well. I helped him out by fishing. We go to the top of the seventh and to the play for Kansas City. Eugenio Suarez. As the lefty gets to work. And that's in for a strike. in for strike three. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect Mike's that able to go uh, deep in this one. In the box again, takes a strike. One thing he can do, he has great stamina, so Mike is capable of going deep as long as he's you know, successful enough. He's been pitching better, but I am going to start going to the bullpen. Um I'm gonna go with uh Coriano for this one. He's fresh. One down base is empty. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Thanks. Pulls that one down, and there's two down. <clears throat> Now batter, Rodolfo. Next is the Royals Duran. catcher, Rodolfo Duran. First pitch, and he just misses. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top half of inning number seven. A little bit low. Next no, offering is downstairs. Come on, Mikey. Here's lob it in there. Downstairs. Or not. <laughs> or not. He has walked like some guys. The There's walk. Short, start to show oh, some signs board. of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. Let's have a so the mound Royals visit. Batting order turns over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. One for three. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be Thank better you. than it actually was. Thank you for helping me. In the dirt. We can get the him. Oh, man, good throw. We got him. There you go. All right, well, Mike was able to go seven. Good job. Get a new pitcher here to start new the pitcher. Right. He has a really good ERA. Yeah, I've been facing some good pitching here lately. Maybe, maybe it is just facing good pitching. Uh, we'll see. 
And now the first and baseman, Nolan Shotwell. The first baseman, Nolan Shotwell. The pitch. Missing inside. I mean, we are facing Hill. better teams. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Oh my God! Dude, you're late on that one. one two. This guy's got one such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're gonna be chasing stuff in the dirt. In the air, out towards right center. In the gap. On the move to the oh alley. God. He's got it. I haven't really been able to hit double. They trust him in center field because he's capable of making plays on the run, and we saw it right there. That's a player you want patrolling center field. Someone who can attack the ball off the bat. Torres yeah. swings through it for strike one. Oh, one come and get the <clears throat> fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. And fouled off. Trying to hold a one run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. <laughs> Foul ball. <laughs> left got, side. I got a piece of it. <laughs> and the righty deals. That misses. Going to count one and two. One ball, two strikes. The count. <clears throat> the shortstop inside. takes the ball. Looking to get the tying run on base. Ooh. I, I'm glad I didn't give up on that. That snuck in. Boiled that. Kicks and fires. Labor takes go. outside. Brandon Drury in the on deck circle. And he walked Ooh, through. Good, it wasn't easy, but hey, he Daniel, what's up, buddy? Long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of okay. pitches and ends up drawing the wall. The second base. Very gritty. One down, runner first. Brandon Drury, the next to him to the Angels. You got it. You can't miss that. Good timing, and I was a little too underneath it. Power. They are dangerous. Mm. To tie this thing up or take the yeah, lead. All over that fastball. That one missed. Puts it in the air. Drop, drop. Left uh -huh. center. Right up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two down. Now back. New pitcher in the game for the Royals. New pitcher. Miguel Castro. Uh, he, hey, uh, ex-Yankee. He is really uh, good stuff, but he's w very wild. He's not having a good year so far. Maybe, uh, maybe he'll wake us up. We'll see. Yeah, big slider. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Right now, they're looking for something hit into hard aggressive. into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. One ball. Squirts away a little bit. No advance. Good job behind the dish. That misses the zone. All sliders. The count is even two and two. That's what he's about. Sometimes you don't know where it's going, though. Like that! He hung that one! There you go! It's gone, motherfucker! That's why the Yankees didn't hold on to him. Like, he has good stuff, but you don't know where it's going. That time, that had too much plate. Ozuna, baby! Home run number 18. Alright, well, Mike has a chance for the win if the bullpen don't blow it. There you go. Angels, baby. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this. Yeah, I think it brought me through patient. like slider oh, after slider off. after slider. It's like eventually you're going to make a boo boo with it. And Ozuna, the wrong guy. 90 power. And now, Matt oh, boom. Nice. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in as we play game one of this four-game series. And a foul <clears throat> ball. Two 
Two down, nobody on. Hard hit to third. Sends it to Suarez. What a play. Inning over. Two good job, shot for the Angels this inning. It's now a 4-3 ball game. <laughs> And we're back, ready to begin the eighth. So one down for Kansas City, number 11. All right, Soriano, come on, buddy. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, number 59. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And that one fouled off. And the pitch comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Oh wow! Oh, he must have not saw. He he chased two bad ones. Wow! You don't see that too often on Hall of Fame. I'll take it. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together. That's a lot when they chase the that, uh, that badly that next, lays off for a ball. at this level. And another ball. I will say, though, uh, Soriano's being very wild. Holding on to a one-run lead, and we're in the top of the eighth. And that first hitter helped him out, but... And that's in there. You gotta throw strikes. Knees. Right now, he's not putting it anywhere near where I want it, which is, uh, you know, worrisome. And what's weird is confidence is almost maxed. So it's like, come on, dude. You're like amped up. There we go. There you go. Finally. Pinpoint that stuff. Next offering is outside. Off again. Now, this guy has like no power. Three and two. To just, you know, go at him. He gets a base hit, he gets a base hit. He helped he helped you out. Yeah, he's being very erratic. It's super erratic. One down, base is in. Gets a piece and stays alive. <clears throat> Ninth pitch of the at bat, do next. Uh do I stick with the fastball? I mean, I think I do. Try to overpower him. Yeah, there's ball four. Awesome. Awesome. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. It's tough after the falling bat. behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. With the next day hit takes high for ball one. Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring My position. Lord, seriously. That one inside, and it's two. I think he's the worst I've seen Soriano as far as command. He is a uh, big time erratic. And that's in for a strike. Man, I don't know. I don't. I don't know where this shit's going. <laughs> <laughs> Right-handed reliever. No, it's scary. They're being Almost more hammer. patient, frankly so. Time for Leclerc. Oh, we, we know he'll blow it. <laughs> Otherwise, he, he would be here right now, but he's been sucking dick for us. I felt a little more confident with Soriano, but right now he is fight. not... Oh boy. He he's throwing late. hard. I mean, the stuff is there, but you don't know where it's going. Base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. That's that's the problem. I don't know where it's going. Back to work. 3 2 now. Rowler he made a good pitch. Two. There's Three one. To second. Oh, oh just because he's too fast. All right, Those two outs. He made a good right pitch there. there. Nice oh, my God. The pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of All right, Soriano. Come on, buddy. Jay Melendez. Steps in for the Royals. One more out. And one I don't know the if they're going to attempt to steal. I mean, well, Bobby Witt's super fast, he's but he I throw super hard. I don't know if they're going to take that shot. He's not taking an extra lead. If he can't do that, keep the line moving. The wall or just a base hit. I'm watching him, you know, just in case. Witt off of first with two away.
I want you to elevate that. <clears throat> Here's the O2. Way One ball, two straight. That one lifted to left. I know we got it. Makes the play and it's out number. I'm just gonna say I think we dodged a bullet because boy, I did not. He was like John Rocker. Who knows where the fuck that shit was going? He was all over the place. So one left for Kansas. That's City. one of those scenarios. He, he he showed really three. high velocity stuff. Like he his stuff looked very good. He just didn't know where the shit, where that shit was going. Oh man. And now hey the Breezy. The mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Carlos Hernandez. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches and out of him right go. here. Got to do his best to keep the score then, uh, right where it is. Go ahead and warm up Nick Gordon he here. Steps out as time is granted. Uh, Nick's an 80 now. Or was he an 80? Huh, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't show it there. The improvement. Here comes a pitch. Leading things See off if we can get a, a an insurance run or something. Now one and one. One on one on the one on one swing Damn. and miss. One ball. It's a tough day at he the got some shit. Three strikeouts already. It's hard huh. not to think negative. But you gotta find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Hit the gap. Going oh, after damn it, man. I've been missing the gap. Yeah. I think they're pretty now fast out there, the too. Here's Vladimir I'm Guerrero doing well. Thanks for asking. For three with two fly outs and a ground out. I want to face some bad pitching again so I can start bashing some pitchers. <laughs> the tall righty, he features I feel like, yeah, I've been facing good pitching tonight. A slider, a splitter. A curve, and he works in a sinker. And now two and nothing. One on two. He Man. really committed to that fastball. Throws real at the hard. Top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Swing and a miss. As he was late. Love Sorry. to see it. Power versus power right there. Left field. I mean, if that's all he's going to throw, I'll catch up to it. Melendez snags it for the second out. <clears throat> Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front the shoulder coming here. open instead of staying closed. If he oh. does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Trap yeah. now in the box. Comes up empty with oh, a swing there. there. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Tosses across oh. the first. That's the third out. Inning over. Angels go down one, two, three. But they hold on. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the ninth. And to the play for Kansas City, Jake Fraley. All right, Nick, don't blow it. You've blown some this year. Slam the door, Nick. You were awful in that Rangers game, so come on, buddy. The wind of the pitch. That one in there across the letter. And with that Phillies game, you, you blew that one, too. <laughs> You're up there in saves. You have 17, but we won't talk about your opportunities. Nope. You're one and know this stream. You shut the door against uh, the Guardians. Hopefully, you can shut the door here. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. Right. 
That one misses. Three and one now. Michael Massey up next. That was a nice sinker. Nice late break on it. It's right where you want to get it to get that swing over the top. That one to first. Oh, nice. Shadowwell nice. takes it himself. Right. One up, one down. That's a huge defensive Two more. play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. Oh. How about that? All right, two outs, baby. There we go. Let's win this game. Let's go. Last chance for the Royals. Eugenio Suarez getting ready to hit. A little out front there as he swings through. Yeah, he was thinking fastball. Here we go. The Royals down to their final strike. Ball oh. one there. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Start to this four game series to get the first one at home, but these players know they've got some work to do because they could easily drop the next three if they're not careful. Can't get too comfortable. Go. Get some rest Mike would have been very upset with you, Nick, if you blew two. it. Four, three, now he's four and oh. Seriously, like Mike, I think run. you're the magic Reverse in the bottle, baby. You're the magic man. Ever since I called you up, shot. we've been winning. We'll see you soon. We're winning left and right. Because seriously, it was like, we win, we lose, we win, we lose, we win, we lose. I call up Mike, win, 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 win. Oh, I got one, Al. Win, 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 win. <laughs> Man, we're just hot all of a sudden. Pitching looking a little better, too, for once. That's good. I did walk them quite a bit. Uh, four walks, struck them out seven. They had a couple of doubles. Five hits. No, errors. no home runs allowed. That's nice. Um, I did better. I, I, I struck out seven, and what's ironic, uh, Moniac and Trout, they each struck out three times. That's a little ironic. And then my backup catcher struck out. I mean, he's not a very good hitter. Uh, we had the two home runs. That's it for extra. We only had four fucking hits. Yeah, I did not hit the ball very well in this one. I was able to... Go deep on those two hangers. That's kind of the difference maker. Yeah, that's where like having all this power, you know, it can really pay off. You know, it's, it's, I feel like I've been off balance uh, offensively tonight. There you go, man. Boom. It looked like it was going to be a hit fest the way the game started and things kind of calmed down. Right. Uh, now we've already played Oakland. Uh, I've already played the Twins. They beat my ass. I'd like to get revenge on them, but uh, um, I mean, I could face Washington. They they suck dick though. I don't know. I've already faced Detroit. What do you guys think? I've already faced the Yankees. Uh, I could play the Rockies. You want to talk about a bad team? Um. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to get to the draft. Here, let's go ahead and uh, sim up to here. Down the road, I'll, I'll definitely uh, play one game per series, but like we're only on season three. I really want to get pretty far in the into this, you know. Um, hopefully, we can make playoffs here.
God damn it. I let Trout DH, and guess what? Now he's out for two or three months. It don't matter. He gets hurt anyways. Motherfucker, Trout. That hurt a lot. Um, okay. How, how are we doing? Ah, uh, about the same record. Fucking Washington almost swept us. What the fuck, Washington? We're not even a good team. We beat the Twins. There you go. Well, that sucks, though. Trout's out. Well, I'm glad I beat the Royals in game one because they, they would have swept us. Look at that. Jeez. Whatever, man. Oakland, we should have swept. We beat them two out of three. All right. Um. Man, that really sucks. Let me look at my roster. Brother. Uh, oh, wait, not my roster. Well, yeah, actually, my roster. I'm going to go ahead and call up Dickhead, because you guys want some dick action. So, uh, Trout's out, so we'll call him up. Definitely getting better. Yeah, dude. Minus three versus... Lefties, though, contact, but plus 10 power. Kind of funny. Yeah, he's, he's killing in AAA. Good. Cool. Um, call him up. Yo, y'all's favorite player. Been hearing people, hmm, I want dickhead. We dickhead. I need some dickhead action. Yo, we where's dickhead? I need dickhead. You're gonna see dickhead now. Um. Hmm. I can't believe Trout got fucked. So what I should do... Um, Sorry, I'm just thinking real fast. He can only play, uh, he could play second, third. Yeah. Second, third. He can play in the outfield if need to be. be a good idea. Maybe Dickhead play, uh, I should have him play, uh, he has such a weak arm. All right. Yeah, we'll let Ozuna DH. Um. Yeah, he could play left field, I guess. Yeah, that that'll work. <clears throat> um. All right, so. I still have Ozuna bat eighth, even though he's really killing it this year. Um, it's just, I don't know what it is, having him batting eighth towards the back of the lineup. It just kind of balances the threat, you know? Yeah, because these guys, like uh, Moniac, as you can see, he's all, he sucks versus lefties, killer versus righties. Same with him. Great hitter versus righties, not so much lefties. I mean, I have uh, Neto. Neto, I, I added him to the trade block. Uh, 
he's still getting better, which is kind of funny. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I gave him short end of the stick. I just kind of did. Probably not smart. I should probably let him play again. It's just because of the whole dickhead scenario. But, uh... Mm. <clears throat> you know, maybe I'll have him face the lefties and Brandon only facing righties. I could do that. Just so Neto starts playing again. Yes. Yeah, we'll do that. And Neto has good defense. Uh, he can play uh, second or short. So, uh... Second or short. Boris can play third, but that would not be a good idea. Yeah, I think Dickhead's going to have to play third. And then uh, Neto will play second. Or actually, he'll play short. Uh, Torres can play second. Yeah, that makes more sense. Alright, so Neto's back in the lineup. Kind of a, a weird lineup. Um, Actually, with Trout out, I feel like our lineup versus lefties has gotten weaker. Oh, hey, Mike. What's up, buddy? You just missed it. I, I just pitched with you. All right. And then versus righties. Yeah, we'll let Dickhead play as much as he can because you guys love Dickhead. You want him so much. Um, probably an opportunity to let Torres have a little DH role, protect him a little bit, I guess. And, uh, Oh, he can't play short. Oh. Uh huh. They're really finagling with this. Torres may be forced to play defense. Huh. Dang, dude. I hate to give him the DH role. Maybe I'll give it to Dickhead, I guess. That's so. Hmm. All right. We'll go with this for the lineup. So yeah, it definitely uh, has gotten a little weaker. Trout gone again. Dang it, man. It doesn't matter if I DH him or not, man. He gets hurt anyway. <laughs> Jeez, that was a bad one. All right. So uh, I think I already faced the Red Sox. Let's, uh, I said I was going to sim up here. We want to get to the draft. Oh, I swept the Red Sox. There you go. Um, swept the Red Sox. Uh, beat Detroit two out of three. Tampa Bay, we beat them two out of three. Uh, the Yankees, we swept. Actually, Yankees had a good record. Now they're going downhill. They've been really losing, looks like. They have a losing record now. Mike is six and two. Five ERA, but he's a rookie, you know, he's a project. Um, 
If I sim this one. Oh, good. Uh, Mike is seven and two. Magic Mike. <laughs> uh, man, I think we're going to make playoffs this year. We're 55 and 38. Um, I don't think if I should play the. I mean, the Rockies do suck mega dick. <laughs> so I don't know. I just haven't played them yet. I guess so. Play over at uh, Colorado. I just send that one because I just used Mike. So Sandoval. I guess it's his turn. Hopefully it'll be an easy outing for him. And uh, after this game, then it'll be draft. Three days till the draft. So uh, here, let me uh, get some coffee real fast. And let's uh, let's see what the see what the Rockies look like. See how bad they are. Oh God, yeah, they have dick in their mouth. That's a young stud right there, Jackson Holiday. At least they have something going for him. They don't have shit, though. He's young. It's funny, all their, like, young futures are, like, shortstops. Kind of funny, like, infielders. They, they have that going for them. <laughs> Everything else is, like, shit. I mean, realistically, they do have a lot of young guys with some good potential, and they should. I mean, they've had dick in their mouth for a while, so they should have something, right? Get something out of that. All right, so be right back. Let me uh, go get some coffee. But yeah, this this uh, Rockies team, I can see why they, they stink. They're not very good. BRB.
All right, sorry about that, guys. Oh, boy. Try to snag some of their infielders. <laughs> they definitely have plenty of them, right? <laughs> they got that going for them. All right. Watch Sandoval, like, sucks for me or something. He'll give up, like, 10 runs in the first then and I'll be like, really? Go figure. Okay, now I feel a little dumb. Did they really change their, like, logo? I mean, that looks kind of cool. Huh. Kind of ironic. I think it's technically the first time facing them on this franchise. Um, I'm glad it's at Colorado. I think they have a nice setup. Ball carries. Nice for our power lineup. <clears throat> oh, Mike's at 69 now. There you go, buddy. Keep winning. Actually, I think Sandoval got better, too. Yeah, I mean, he's having a good year. Makes sense. 3.86 ERA. He's been the one guy so far in our franchise. He, he's been pretty consistent. Like, he's not, like, the ace. But he kind of is our ace, which is embarrassing. But he's been a solid pitcher, you know. He's been okay. Um, yeah, I'm facing another righty. I haven't faced any lefties tonight. But yeah, you guys are going to see some dickhead action, so you're stoked for that. Um, I wonder if I should have uh, Dickhead play second base. Just to give him a little breather. Maybe, maybe I will this go around. Even though, uh, you know, his defense is better. Just, you know, he, he improves faster. We're trying to get him better. Um, yeah. Cool. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Colorado Rockies. It's one of those things like, uh, I actually, yeah, I mean, I think those First jerseys are kind of ugly, next. but it's kind of weird. I mean, they're the Rockies. It kind of makes sense. So just about set now and towing the slab in this one, Antonio Iglesias. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great I mean, they look job right, I guess. I mean, they're just, tough spots. you know, eh. I've just been so impressed with it. When it seems like Anyways. More pressure, <clears> he's more calm. The Rockies so are ready. We are job. ready. And we're let's do it here. Colorado. First pitch of the ball. We are on your way. But for some reason, he gets closer. The ball comes out. No, watch. This will be the game I'll lose. And I'll be like, whatever, dude. You know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Right through there for a strike. Well, at least he doesn't throw hard. Facing a soft thrower. Fly ball down the line. <clears throat> Rhodes on the move towards foul ground. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Here's a one-two. Fights it off. You'll see another. Boy, he's playing with fire doing that. <clears throat> Righty to the plate. Drill to and uh, right he did it again. There, that was gone. dumb, dude. Oh, and that's why they suck. It's gone, motherfucker. He, no he challenged one. me with it's that 91 miles per season. hour. Back to back. I'm like, bro, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? Oh, there's dickhead. There you go. <laughs> are you fucking serious? <laughs> I guess when you're a bad team, you got nothing to lose. You're like, I don't give a well, fuck. You love a game that some Here you go. From the jump. Hit it. And at the plate, he <laughs> okay. Was looking for a pitch to absolutely <laughs> drive. And, you know, and he's not known to hit anymore, a lot of home runs. He has like 70 power, but he's more of like a double single guy, you know, for us. 
But, uh, <laughs> I mean, okay. Well, actually, I was 94, but I had good timing on it. It was just like, it was down the middle. All right, dude. a little high. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Yeah, not very smart pitching, man. You just challenged me with those fastballs. Nobody out with a run in here in the second and final game of the series. Pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes. Here's someone, historically speaking, a good way to start the game, right? Overnight game. So I'm excited to see what he does in this one. That may be my first leadoff home run. Now three to start the game. Maybe. Be a little ironic if so. And there's the it, it probably is because uh, usually my leadoff hitters don't hit a lot of home runs. Right through there for a strike. Oh, 03 to full count. All right. Are you going to challenge me? So far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. He did. <laughs> one rip left field. Did I get all of it? Rose going back. It's gone, motherfucker. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's, goes deep. That's his third. He's home just throwing another series. fastball down the and middle. He's like, I'm not going to walk you. You hit me. You hit me. He absolutely feasts on right handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after I feel like this guy's going to wake me the fuck up Man, and I'm going to have a big offensive uh, performance here. here. You gotta love the effort and this guy's cracking me up. He, he don't long. give a fuck. It would have been a stunner if he did. He's proud of that fastball. Here's Juan Soto. Huh. In there at the knees. And that strike one. <laughs> oh man. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways. That time he made a good pitch. He hit the corner. <laughs> well, we'll see if he learned his lesson. One one. <laughs> He's Chase that time. <clears throat> yeah, there's a ball. All right. Well, we're back to uh, three balls. He's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, so are you just going to throw it down the middle again? Strike zone, <laughs> something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about it. Oh, my God. Game All right. I decided to take. To I'm not scared of this guy. Let's see. <laughs> Does he dare try it again? And he deals. The three two is he did not. He, he tried to make a perfect pitch. Good eye by me. I don't think he really wanted the pitch to him right there anyway. Yeah. The short He gave that extra though. 96. The next to hit for the Angels. That clips the corner. <laughs> <clears throat> I got, I got it that time. To gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Ooh, a hanger. Neighbor swings, drives one. I don't know if I got all that of it. And that one finds the oh my god, this pitcher sucks. Here. It's gone, motherfucker. The inning, and they add to the lead. It's four nothing. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even. Oh time. man, you guys are gonna be like, Joey, just send this game. The Rockies aren't even worth it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. This is this is a great start. Three home runs out of the first three or four batters. What a home run, home run, walk, home run. And that's exactly what he did. Nolan Shanawell. This poor pitcher. Now that's ball one. What, what's his overall? It can't be good. He's a 71. Oh, poor guy. He has three pitches. That's pretty much it. Fastball and curveball. Oh, no. He's in trouble. The inning he was planning on to begin this <laughs> start, but you've got to find a way to shake things off and give your team oh, some length poor guy. and up some zeros. Right hander kicks deals. On the ground. Oh, there you go. You got it now. In plenty of time to first, one out in the top of the first. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the Angels lot. Uh, one guy swinging a hot bat recently, Brandon Drew. We all may be swinging hot bats with this pitcher. Because he capitalizes on the big situations 
as well yeah. as anyone. Hitting over 350 with runners in scoring position. And you know what that means? That means he's a key player for this offense because he can really drive him in when the team needs him the most. He's been clutch all year. Now fly ball to right center. Makes the grab for the second. Ball out. definitely Every carrying. Day during batting practice, these outfielders batting get batting. about 10 minutes. Yeah, I kind of wonder if. Uh, the gaps, they oh, there's your favorite player, the guys. Comes, they make the play I haven't hit a home run with him. He has one home run Angels already. Stick. But not with me. Uh, what I was going to say is. Um, I wonder if they did. I think they did add that logic. Like, um, you know how in real life the ball carries super well and in Colorado here at, in this stadium. I, I kind of wonder if that logic is still there. Uh, the wind definitely isn't. Yeah, there's the wind. It's going uh, six miles per hour. Okay. Gotcha. And there's your favorite player. You guys missed him. That clips the inside corner for a strike. <laughs> Well, a uh, really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. And the curve is down and in. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Out to short, <clears throat> Tobar. That'll end the yeah. inning after a lot of scoring. Hmm. Poor pitcher. Back here at Coors Field, pitching in our game today, Patrick Sandoval. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Uh, so they're saying this season he's been struggling on the road, but pitch, I guess pitching dominant at home. We'll see how this goes. It's nice when the game acknowledges all that. I haven't paid full attention since I don't play every game. But um, at least not right now. Here's Bud Black's lineup for the Colorado Rockies. Singy, they got their work cut out for them. Down a busload already in this one. And a manager does not want to see her hitters going to the plate swinging like it's a home run derby. She wants guys to put together quality at bats, play the oh. game that you've been playing and that you've been taught to play with this organization and go out there and move the line. If you do that, you're going to score some runs. Maybe you don't win this ball game, but at least you have some momentum to carry into the next one. Moniak calls it in, two away. <clears throat> Batting third. Next is That's the designated hitter, hitter, Jackson Holiday. He's someone who quickly oh, made a yeah. splash at this level, Chris. A former He's like their the only year. good player. <laughs> Pretty much. On the ground to the left. Got a hit. And that there you go. Extra That's going to be a double. Around first and hustling for second. It's like that Oakland situation. They had like one Anthony guy that can right hit. With a double. <laughs> Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something. And there he is. He has 29 really doubles. Like so that's man. actually he really good up to this point. Like halfway through the season. That's really good. Kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite there you field go. as he stepped into the <clears> box. Good for him. Got a pitch he liked and he got it done. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. Now here is Yo, Zach Veen. Just off the inside edge. Well, here's a chance right here for one of the better hitters on this roster to get him on the board in the first. Thanks to the three-hole hitter extending the inning. Good at bat with two outs. And the pitch. Out to short. Torres handles. Gathers and throws to first. And that is that. So one left for Colorado. They're down 4-0. Here in Denver, now it's the veteran outfielder, Marcelo Zuna. Marcelo Ozuna. Iglesias, back to work. Ozuna, a former Gold Glove winner, 35 years old. He's been scoring a lot of runs lately. He scored nine times in the last 10 games. And a swing and a miss there. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boot from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers 
They work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off-speed stuff. Tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. Sends it across the first. One out in the second. Batting Logan Ohapi digs in now. I'm liking the power Logan. he's shown recently. Three Ohapi. home runs over the last five games. Slapped foul. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Mickey Moniak will hit next. First pitch doesn't find the zone. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk to you. Oh, now this one's high. Did he do it again? A guy that doesn't hit home runs for me. He did it. The second time already. Another it's gone, motherfucker. This this game, pitcher sucks. They tack on to their lead. It's six I don't even feel challenged facing this guy. You could probably tell. For real. I'm like, this guy's bad. A great time out there. I mean, that's all he has. Fastball, curveball, and they're not that great. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now. Oh, man. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay oh, fair. Man. But off the bat, it looked like he was going to bend foul. Was able to keep so you it know in what? There, oh, he, yeah, he, he gone. He did not last long. <laughs> My God. I was going to have a shitload of home runs with this guy. On the Antonio Iglesias <laughs> won't go any further, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. He, he's the worst pitcher I've ever faced. Ronnie he, was, he was bad. Comes on now. He was bad. Well, they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is. <laughs> Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. So I maybe maybe it wasn't me out of those first couple games. I, I just faced good pitching because look, I'm up six nothing, you know. That's why this game's awesome. The one out, nobody on. <laughs> and next for LA, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Pitch oh. misses there. And that I is yeah. ball one. I don't I don't know if I want to play all nine innings. This, this team just sucks, man. Like seriously, I, I feel like I'm playing a a double A team here. Bad. Right through there for a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Ryan Rollison getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Mm. Foul ball. I think there was a hundred. <clears throat> Threw me off Two a little bit with that. Across in the <clears throat> inning. Here at the top of the second. That one misses, and that's ball two. And that's outside. One down, base is empty. Oh, and a that was ball four. Down on strikes. Now two out. Oh well. <clears throat> now bad out. So two Wait, down now, and four. here is Juan Soto. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That's back there. And gone. Dude, I'm gonna have a record in home runs. I mean, I'm just hitting home runs the off this team. It's their I have five home runs the already. And they add on. Holy shit. I have five fucking no home runs already. Swinging at the first Man. And he punished it. The ball really carries here. And this team is bad. That's just, oh boy. This is home run derby right here. Well, the guy's got a real hard fastball. You can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like you yeah, did I right mean, there. Yeah, I mean, I was late that time, but, yeah, I mean, you, you throw in the center of the plate. I don't care how hard you empty. throw. I'm going to hit you hard, well, you know? Inside, gets out of you the may way. get a couple by me. Like that one I was late on, but that one I hit a home run, that was 98. Perfect timing. The one one is fouled off. <clears throat> it's all about the effectiveness of it too, the spin rate. And he His is kind of flat. That one and that was like, is that gone? Into the bleachers and gone. 
They go back to back. He's done it. I gotta again. say it. It's gone, They're motherfucker. The game, <clears throat> and they add to their lead. It's eight nothing. I I'm having Another the game of my life. Run. I mean, already. BP. Holy shit. Six home runs. Back to back homers always a special I mean, feeling. I've never ball done ball this before in my life. I don't no, I don't think so. Not like this. Hands at home oh my god, this, this is, is a new kind of level of bad. Really and the yeah, the ball's carrying, man. And next for the Angels, Nolan Shanawell. Holy shit. And it's fouled away. Wow. Six home runs. The wind of the pitch. They say oh, win. whatever. Jack swing still doesn't work for me. <clears throat> Two outs. To the right side, Montero takes it himself, and they're happy to just get off the field after that frame. Yeah. Oh my God. Holy shit! I can see why they're so bad. Oh, man. Bottom half of inning number two. And now here is Lowry Montero. In Lowry. Montero. The pitch. Well, every pitcher wants to run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack <clears throat> instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Kicks and deals. That's Swing right. and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole. And we'll even verify just because, I mean, I'm just blown away. Yeah, it's on Hall of Fame. I'm just making sure because I'm like, holy shit, this team is bad. <laughs> Field. He was out in front there. Just oh, needs man. to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on I'm track. glad I'm not the Rockies. Oh, my God, I'd be raging. Now, John Rose. Yes. And that one fouled off. The Halos up big in this one. Bottom half of inning number two. And oh. that one is inside ball one. You know, it's That'd always kind of funny, there. like, back Just then, like, <clears throat> really nothing you, can do with that you know, like, you throughout, like, so kind of my you. childhood, more like uh, my late teen years. For the longest time, Rockies always had a very dangerous lineup. Whether they had a good record or not, they were never a pushover team, you know? Like, they never had the pitching, but, like, oh, they always had monster hitters. Around. And you could, you can argue and say, well... The ball carries here in Colorado, which, I mean, it's sure carrying for me, <laughs> for my home run hitting team, that's for sure. Hey, Holy now God. The lefty. But, I mean, like, man. That one pushed foul. They, they feel like bare minimum. Base is empty. I shouldn't say bare minimum. Uh, top. Uh, triple A. This is not even a major league team that I'm facing. The pitch. And they'll do it again. Outside, oh. and that is ball four. Did I? <clears throat> I just stuck and with forth the fastball. He had to lay off some really close <laughs> pitches, <laughs> and somehow he man. found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Yeah. Number 60 in the box now. No balls and a strike. Rose, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Oh. Off the mark there. And now it's even one and one. And that one hammered. That's bad. Really? It's a oh, ball. whatever. All right. Now the ball really does carry here. Them all. It's 8-2. He hasn't been at his best at the plate these last few games, so this could end up being an important home run for him. Maybe it's a sign of more <clears throat> to come. <laughs> that one Rocky fan, he's like, wow, we scored. When you're working with 
this kind of velocity is so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. And now the count is even. One ball, one strike. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. The lefty fires. That no, one a little bit high, and it's two and two. It's a good take. He probably, he probably is expecting off speed, but... Got it. I stuck with the fastball. Called <clears throat> strike three and a fastball up I bet he zone. was looking for that changeup. Next to him for the Rockies, Brenton Doyle. Doyle. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Elevated. Back some more. And, and the, the that ball really is carrying. Holy shit. Safely into second. He's got a double. I felt like he didn't really get the good, good part of the bat on it. It was that. like so almost over the wall. Holy shit. The other way, but, well, that's very tough to do. Yeah, that's not what I wanted it. Like kind of sucks. Beautiful swing though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite. Well, they said uh, oh, Sandoval. He's been struggling the on the road. So. Time as he takes ball one. Game has been a weird thing a swing and a miss and that's strike one oh in the dirt blocked <clears throat> runner holds count goes to two and one man on second two down he swings and fouls one off And a pitch. Hey. Got it by him for the K. But the Rocks bring in two on this big fly. It's now 8-2. Yep. Good. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top half of the third inning. And now the designated Brandon. hitter for the Angels, Brandon Drury. As he turns on the rubber, and with that live arm delivers. <clears throat> and a breaking ball, ball drops in for a strike. Swing and a miss. At one that one had a, miles an hour. I had a lot going on. That was you lively. Too. Oh my god. And see, I was thinking about that. So I was out in front of that. Very hittable changeup. Oh my god. Hey, when you mix wow. speeds like that, I mean, you can do that from time to time no if you uh, do it wisely. Yeah. There's Dickhead, the y'all's favorite player. Oh, John, you want to see Dickhead? Well, there he is. Enjoy. Head. The next to hit takes ball one. Thought I was hearing. I'm going. We dick head. I'm with dick head. Breaking ball inside. Yeah, that's ball two. One down, base is empty. That clips the corner. Look out! Oh, and it hit him. Oh, you hit my the dick. Potential to fire up the offense. Only one Go watch out, Dick had will charge you. You've got to stay out of a double. He's play like a bulldog, bro. Watch out. Here. <laughs> Ozuna Ooh. now at the plate as he oh, swings no. through strike. That's actually a good slider. <clears throat> Late break there. The next pitch misses, and that's one ball, ball one. One strike. Head stands at first with one out. Swings and misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Move to first. Back standing. He's in there safely.
flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch, keep the bat alive. Runner on the go. Foul ball still a one and two count. Man at first, one away. <clears throat> Bunch of all speed. Pitch. Got him swinging the strikeout. The high heat, too much. Oh, he on made good one. pitches there. Here's the power hitting catcher. Had me thinking Logan about it. <clears throat> singled and scored his first time. Oh. Up and in, ball one. Ball. No strike. Yeah, this guy definitely looks better than that starter. At least he has something. Swing and a miss, blew it by him at 99. That was straight queso right there. <clears throat> Two outs. So he there at 90. Yeah, yeah he really an blew it by me this inning. Angel Strand one. They lead it 8 2. Huh. <clears throat> and we're back. Ready, ready to go, go for Wilbur the last Rockman. half of the inning. And now Not the shortstop, short Ezekiel Tovar. The pitch. That's in there. That's strike one. Now it's the DH, Jackson Holiday, doubled in his first AB. One, one, no strikes. Very first time seeing this game. That's cool. Welcome. Kicks and fires. Could be with the doctor ordered. There's on one. Second, There's one two. Thank you very much. And that is a double play. He's so good at coming across the bag and the snagging right it with the bare hand to throw. I like the flair that he brings Three. day in and day out. And first offering is fouled off. The Rockies with a lot of ground to make up here in the last half of the third. Do I play against real people? I Next used to years ago. I, I'm just about franchise. And I just try to have an authentic authentic experience. Uh, this is one of these definitely lopsided games. Uh, no. Rockies aren't very good. Outside the zone. Pretty bad Really team. nice slider right there. Sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Just off the outside edge. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. That okay. one oh, misses. Counts full three and two. On its way to the corner. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And a nice. swing and a miss. That. And that's that. <clears throat> Out of the fourth, the here's the center fielder, the Mickey center Moniak. Fielder. Moniak doing stuff that I'm not and accustomed to seeing out of him. His home runs. <laughs> Two home runs for him, man. outside and the count Rebound. is two and oh and the right hander deals yeah. that one finds the zone and it's two I actually kind of want now. this guy to go he, he's looking better That's and the, the slider just misses <clears throat> the why to kick the pitch that's and that's Thank ball four 
I think they're scared of him after what he's Who, done. Do you think his first you could two at bats. In the bigs, if we gave you enough at bats. Oh, that's Maybe a good question. Um, the third base. I think that if they Vladimir gave the pitcher Kuro a full Jr. scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Oh, Joey. Is fouled yeah. Off. That well, was a hanger. A hittable off speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly what the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never drop, does. Drop, drop. And you're tied uh, up. Now he's got it. Makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away. And it was better than that close. one I missed. That's for sure. Man at first. Now, now it's the right fielder, the right fielder. Juan Soto. Juan. He's already homered in this Soto. game. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. Oh. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the oh, zone. Dude. Chance to collect time. himself now yeah. as he asks for time. <clears throat> Moniak leads off first with one away. Yeah, got me chasing it again. I was more on it still than be chasing that. And a pitch. Swing and a drive deep right field. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Coming home. He scores. There you and go. 9-2. Angels, baby. There and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms Counts extended with a that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. One out, runner at second. Labor Torres up to hit. Oh. And a swing Oop, and a miss. Go ball. On it, it's late. It's already. I was really on it, too. Harky. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Wow, oh, no good. fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pick. Oh. Yeah, that's outside. The only adjustment mm -hmm. he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. That one is upstairs. Swing Ooh. and a miss. Struck him out. I swing through that? Huh. I'm being curious about my timing. I was there with my uh, zone. The next to hit for the Angels. I was a lot in front. Okay. Felt like I kind of swung through it. Out towards left center. That's an out. Sizing this one up. Brings it in for the third out. Mm. A run, a hit, and a man left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Angel. Back here at Coors Field. John Chubby and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Lowry's Montero. Montero. Sandoval back to work. And the first no, pitch the misses for ball one. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack Red. instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Next offering is in for a strike. And there's one away. So in now for Colorado, John Rhodes. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Third ball over for a called strike. The Angels up big in this one. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Can you imagine being a real-life Rockies fan and your crappy team having to play Dodgers, Giants, Padres, Arizona. Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm, I'll tell you what. Like, I do know what it feels like because uh, I am, well, hold on. Because I am, you know, a uh, New York Giants fan, you know, in the NFL, and they kind of look like that, so, <laughs> especially offensively. So, you know, I kind of get it. Yeah, it, it's rough. Um, even I'll say, like, uh, when your team's that bad, sometimes it is hard to watch. I watch, but sometimes it's hard, and it's like, oh, God. You know. One down, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Yeah, I, I uh, think the Rockies, I like their old uniforms better than that, goes, that green white. I guess that's green white, right? Green or teal, whatever sure the fuck that is. Um, you want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes it's just so bland. Things, like, and I, think that was the case I wouldn't right say it's there. ugly, it's just not appealing. They used to have, I think, pinstripes, and then they kind of like purple. See, the purple was good. They have a purple stripe on their pants, but number 60 in okay. the box here lets that one go for a ball. Mm, I don't know. I wonder if that would have looked better if that was purple instead of that green or whatever. The 1 0 -oh. should be pink. Yeah, that's outside. Maybe it maybe should have been pink. Change their name the Colorado Pinkies. Two outs. Pinksters. That's the ball. Oh, come on. First strike. That one called a strike. Barely. And it's three and That's one. probably a generous call, the too, Rockies by the umpire. With a lot of ground to make up here in the second and final game of the series. Hit hard on the ground is short. Whips it across. It's a one Damn, this is a long game. Yeah, well, my games are usually long, you know. Seven. It's nine two. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Ryan Rollison. Yeah, just let me know because you know these Rockies. I mean, clearly, I do. It really does feel like I'm facing a Triple A team. This team, they're they're just not that good. Like I, I this is like one game. I feel like I don't have to try, you know. And I, I may score a couple of runs. Just, I don't know. They're, uh, they're too easy. Which is good. I mean, they are bad. They they, they should uh, actually. It's kind of ironic. They should feel that way because they, they're clearly not a good team. You know, these angels digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. It's been a real team effort. And we saw on paper they have like nothing really. So that goes to show they're getting contributions from top to bottom. Nobody's doing that by themselves. Second base. These are their special the units. Baseman. Oh, this is considered their special units. Oh, okay. He's all for a oh, here's y'all's favorite player. Oh, yeah, we get to see Dickhead. See, I would love Where's to hit strike? a home run with Dickhead. And this would be an opportunity just because the ball carries here, as we've witnessed. Wow, oh, don't chase, Joey. That one missed. Mm. That's a really good one job ball. of laying right. off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind Chased the count. again. Bounced up the middle. Sends it to oh, first. Wow. And the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He has, as they like to say... Let me guess, Boo. Light tower power? That's right. And a foul ball. Yeah, I'm being a little more free Robinson. swinging this inning. This guy's easier to make contact. He doesn't throw that hard. In I'm not seeing Watch anything too away, impressive upstairs. by this guy as far as like, you know, swing and miss stuff. Yeah. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. 
Yeah, that was a hanger. Yeah, crushed that bitch. That was perfect timing. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. They're lucky I didn't get underneath it to launch it, because that would have been an easy that home run. With perfect timing. I bet I hit that so hard. Oh, yeah, dude. How hard did I hit that? 100, almost 111. I was about to say, I hit that bitch hard. That's just a hanger. Just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. And now, Logan Ohapi. Ah, well, I helped him out. Right side, foul territory. Cool. Nabs it. And that he made a good pitch there. He jammed Angels leave one, but they <clears> still lead it 9 2. Back here in Denver. And here's the catcher, Drew Romo. The catcher. That'd, be, that'd be funny if this guy's name was Tony Romo. Drew Romo. The wine of the pitch. Romo the homo. Oh, excuse me, what'd I say? And first offering is fouled off. With all these Rockies, to put it bluntly, need to put together more Probably competitive some bats. People and I don't think that. they've lived up to Pissed their own somebody. expectations at the plate. Strikeouts are a little easier I to love Tony in Romo. Today, but even by those standards, a joke. they're going down way too often. And I think they're having a hard time getting any momentum. Actually, it's ironic because, you know, I live in Rick's Texas, for those of you who knew. No and, uh, puts it away for the you know, obviously a lot of my There's friends or people that yeah, I talk to, co-workers, they're, they're cowboy fans. And even they're like, uh-oh, uh, Romo the hobo. This guy's like, yeah, he's good, but he's Mr. Choke when it matters. Kind of like Dak Prescott. Hey, if he faces a bad team, he'll look like the greatest of all time, but when he faces a real team... Uh, he sucks. Oh, in the box with one away one as he takes ball one. He's controlling Ooh. things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. That Hi. one finds Ooh. the zone, and it's one and one two. And two. And that's in the dirt. One down, base is empty. That Whoa, one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. <clears throat> he goes down looking. He was just taken. I'm not walking well, yet. I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking He was just hoping to walk. Number nine hitter. And just left the bat on his shoulder. That was a change up right over the I think I've walked a couple, the right? He was looking for. Sandoval will the walk people. It's well. kind of interesting. Like, he'll show oh, wow, good command, and then he kind of loses command every now and then. Nicely done at first for the out. He, he does that, like, every time for me. He wants to take it himself, waves the pitcher off, and continues to run into the dugout. After that one... Rough inning. He, he's doing what he should be six. doing against a team now like this. Well, Moniak is facing a lefty. Not good for him. And he deals. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Swing and a foul back. That's yeah, I feel like normally I would have did something with that, but since he's facing a lefty, a, pitch. Two and two. a lot harder. He really can't hit lefties. Swings through that. Yeah, he has hittable pitches. That that sums it up. Completely different hitter. Next to hit, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's already homered here in this one. <clears throat> And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. Popped up. Yeah, I'm kind of helping this guy out. I'm being... Settles underneath it. Mr. Free Swinger. Out number two. Now batting. Right two out, space is empty. One. So in now for the Angels, Juan Soto. 
Yep. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. I was late on he that. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a <laughs> swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. And that's off the inside edge. One and one. Two down, nobody on. Out to short. Jump throw across his body. Save. And still go three for three. The effort was there with the In fact, I think he needs the triple for the cycle. Still really impressive play. Get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop can even make that. This is not realistic. I didn't figure it's the Rockies. Yeah, it's the Rockies. Seriously, they're not a good team. Two home runs already. Actually, if I was really trying like I did the start of this, it'd probably be even a lot worse for them. I'm just kind of like speeding it up. You know, and I, I think that's realistic. I think you see teams do that in real life sometimes. You know, unless the pitcher or pitchers are just that bad, right? But, uh, you know, I'm just going I'm trying to speed three. it up a little bit. And a pitcher like this, like, he's easy to make contact. So if he puts it close, First I know I can misses. put wood on it, put it in play. Whether it's going to be good or not good contact, you know. Right through there for a strike. The Halo's up big in this one. And we're the top half of the sixth. That one ripped. Yeah. And it's into the gap. Soto around second, headed for third. Coming home. He'll score, and it's an eight-run lead. Comes yeah, you're calling the off the dog. That's yeah. I was, I was actually being a little merciful just run, because uh, this is my third game, and I'm like, eh, you know, we don't need to we don't need to make this almost a two-hour game just because, you know what I mean? We already know we won this game. I mean, it, it was over after the first inning. <laughs> Stroke. Which rightfully so. I mean, it's really a mismatch. They have two guys that are 80s. I mean, their team is garbage. <laughs> I mean, it just shows. Their team is not good. It's bad. I mean... I mean, shit, my team better do this to a team like this. Now, hey, any given day, though, like, Oakland, hey, they almost, they almost got me. Here comes a pitch. Because their pitcher actually looks pretty good. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Makes the grab and that's the inning. So they pick up a Dan run. Danny on two must hits, be a no uh, Rockies a fan. <laughs> two, three, four, do up in the home half of the six. Uh. It's the Angels 10 and the Rockies 2. Bottom of the sixth Here inning. Go. Here's We're the shortstop hockey. at the play. Ezekiel Tovar. Ezekiel. Tovar. Sandoval back to work. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time, and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Oh, this ball is That's gone. The way the ball is carrying, it's, it's its gone. It's gone. gone. He was obviously camping on that. A gigantic blast. Yeah, he did not miss it for sure. Season, wow. It's 10 -3. Wow, he, he, uh, just he sure different. hit it. Man, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my mm. ears are ringing. I can feel that swing wow. from the booth. I'll see if Sandoval can give me the Zenning and then yeah, let's go bullpen. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Yeah. Jackson Clearly, Holliday he was sitting up and in. in for the Rockies. Clearly. One for two. <laughs> Clearly, he was looking for that. Nope, Misses inside. Right. Ball one. Oh, how many home runs in this game? Well, I have six, and I got them in the first two innings. Now I've been hitting like singles and doubles, but uh, I didn't think that was gonna That's carry on. The knees for a I mean, that 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 starter of theirs, all he had was a. For those of you tuning in, all he had was a fastball and curveball, and they were both not very good pitches. He was like the worst pitcher I've I've faced so far. So far, that that guy. He gets a medal. That guy was home run derby. That that he was awful. Now maybe half of those wouldn't have been home runs if it was in if it wasn't at this stadium. I, I don't know. I mean it definitely shows the ball carries here. Maybe a little unrealistically, but lifted in the air down the left side. And that'll fall for a base hit. 
<laughs> well, that's one of those well, knocks where you almost right expect here. to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. Jeez. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat, just kind of muscled it out there. And, you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you, you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Well, my, my whole bullpen's fresh. Uh, yeah, let's let Walker see how he does as a long reliever. I'm hoping he'll pitch better. He lost his starting role. Mike no, took it. The plate for the third time and, uh, as he looks at one down low. Mike has definitely done way better than Walker. Swing and a miss. He was going for a home run. Not where I wanted that change up, and uh, I'm glad he was uh, he was trying to kill it. Next no, one off the, the plate ball. inside. Two and one. Nobody out. Runner at first. I do that sometimes. It, it sucks sometimes when you make a swing like that. It's like a greedy swing. You're just trying to like send it to Pitch. orbit. Goes down looking. I don't know what he was looking for there. I made some mistakes that uh at bat. I think Sandoval's at that point. Lowry's Montero digging in for the Rockies. I uh I have school tomorrow. Should I go to bed? Honestly, you should stay up and suffer. Like the Rockies. No. Yeah. No, hey, if you if you need sleep, I'd go get some sleep. Chero. Swinging it much better this uh, you know, thanks for hanging out. I, I don't want you to die. <laughs> don't be like the Rockies. Yeah, first offering is foul. <laughs> now I'm gonna laugh, watch. I said that and now they're gonna make a comeback and beat me like eleven to ten. I'm gonna be like, you know, that's baseball, man. I, I don't. Lefty, whatever. <laughs> that's a strike. I don't get it. Fights that one away, and the count remains zero and two. And a pitch. One ball Three in breaks. the dirt. Can we get him? That was a good throw. And good hustle to move up. That's a wild pitch. I will say, Ohapi's been looking better behind the plate. He used to be pretty bad. Kicks and deals. Ball two. Spoils that one, and it remains <laughs> two and two. One out and a runner at second here in the second and final game of the series. Thank you for chasing that. Oh, you got a hit though. Well, they're going for it, man. Ozuna. Wow. Well, it wasn't a good outing by Sandoval, but I guess if you're gonna have one, this would be the game. But he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball. Let's have a mound visit. One gone runner at first. Try to give me this inning. Digging in for the Rockies. Instead of for a double play, try to get it. Right through there for a strike. Montero over at first with one away. And that's also the ironic thing. Like this this Off lineup is isn't nearly as good as like the Royals or even the Guardians, even though I think their their problem, their lineup is just too vagina. It has like no power. So I shut it out, but like the pitch. I mean they scored four runs here. No. Freaking Rockies. Okay, this could be with the doctor order. There's one. He had decent speed. They are a pretty fast team. Well, an aggressive slide at second base, but it was legal. I like it because you're trying to break up the double play, and it looked like the slide impacted the throw a little bit. Nice job by the base runner. Number 60 in the box with two gone, and it takes a look at a called strike. This would be pitch number 90. There we go. They take the there we go. Out, gets him easily, and That's the it for Sandoval. At least he so got me six. On three hits, including the home run. No errors. I'm watching him come back. Left. LOL. Yeah, they're trying. They're the nipping. Yeah. Top of inning number seven. Well, Brandon announcer Drury said Sandoval the struggles on the road. Well, Brandon. hypothetically, statistically, he didn't pitch well. The lefty fires. That one's in there. Strike one. Uh -oh. 
One and this is inside. Strike. Ground ball, left Bravo. side, and foul ball. One, two now. Oh. Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. That That's one ball. misses. And three now ball. three and two. Strike. The wind of the pitch. Oh, that's a ball. I knew that was outside, man. Shut the fuck up. No, that's a ball, man. That's why I didn't swing at it. I was like, oh, that's ball four. I know the strike zone. That's a ball. Ultimately, stick with his plan and that's a ball. I don't want to hear that. Oh, see, the ball just has to nip it. No, that's a ball four. I don't give a fuck. Here's the second baseman. Dickhead. Get him, dickhead. Just off the outside edge, and it's one and oh. Yeah. Bite his kneecap. Go get him. The pitch. Rush to right. Oh, shit. Oh, dickhead got it. He got his first one with me. It's gone, motherfucker. A massive home run. And they add a run. It's 11 4. There you he go, dickhead. That, <laughs> that was a lightning swing right there. No <laughs> doubt about it. He did it! Oh shit, here we go, dick hit, baby! <laughs> That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Yeah. I was wondering when that day would come, and I was like, the way the ball's carrying, this would be it. Just get the Marcelo good part of the bat on. I had perfect timing on it. Angels. I mean, I was all over. I didn't think I had perfect timing. Oh. The first pitch misses. I will say I had, I think for him, I had to have perfect timing in order to get a home run with, with uh, dick nuts. And I uh, got it. There you go, oh, man. Oh, That's what it took. I had to pretty much be perfect on the money on that. And I was. It's so worth it. Oh, man. I'm glad I didn't just said, eh, let's Look just sim the rest of this game. Empty. So if I lose, you know what? I don't care. Strike. Dickhead hit a home run. That was memorable. <laughs> yeah, that's so I, I have a, a record now. Seven home runs in a game. Seven home runs. Next offering upstairs. That's insane, man. But only 11 runs. That's That's just been our offense. And that clips the inside corner. Three and two. Oh, man. The pitch. On the ground to third. Yeah, I knew, I knew that was ball foul. four, but I don't trust the umpire because I got struck out from that same shit. This to third. Fires Here over to go. first. Got the out. And now the catcher comes up to him. The Logan O'Hoppy. Logan O'Hoppy. He swings ah, and misses at the first pitch. Why did he swing Hard down? Ball. Just a bit Dumb. tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. <laughs> swing and a miss. And it's 0 2. Ball. The pitch is outside. Ball one. Man, I, I didn't care. I kind of said whatever. Romo gathers. Yeah. There's the first. I really helped him there. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him, and that's that. One in the it's inning, right. and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. I know. Take it, baby. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Oh man. And welcome back to Leading the ballpark. For the Set Rockies. for the last half of the seventh. The now the Rockies catcher, Drew, Drew Romo. Romo. New pitcher on now, Walker Bueller. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd yeah, say. I think with Walker, I mean, he has good stuff. He just hasn't been successful at all, man. And you saw the averages. Lefties and righties are both hitting him pretty well. 
I don't know, man. That's why he's in the bullpen with the rest of the shit. And another ball. The rest of our issues. I'm just hoping he'll, I don't know, figure it oh, out. Inside. Off the inside edge. Three and oh. So far, he's not right here. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Bob it in there. Oh. There you go. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that mm -hmm. swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get that on board. base. Take that one misses. So a lead off. Walk. Really, Walker? Of Bro. On the mound there right there. 11 to 4. We're facing a kindergarten out. team. Jesus Christ. First, next Throw Colorado. strikes. Brenton Doyle. You just don't do that. It's the number eight hitter. Just oh, miss. Oh my God. Well, the leadoff man gets know. on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher no, can get a ball, a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Two balls. Runner okay. at first with no outs here. You suck, Walker. That one spoiled and the count now two and one. <clears throat> Right-handed reliever that misses the zone and the I swear to God, if you walk him. I'm pissed off. Okay, I want to fucking start. I want you bullpen. Base knock right field. This is him getting revenge on me. Back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, when you fall behind in the count, okay. you've got to come into the zone, second, and then guys have a better Ooh. chance of hitting the ball hard, like he did right there. Um. This is Willie Castro. 0 for 3, a fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. On the ground, okay, this is what the doctor two. ordered. Good There's one. one. There's the two. He play. needed that. Well, that's a huge pitch right there. It looked like it was going to be a big inning, but you get the double play. I guess you'd say here's a chance now for the next guy to pick up his teammate, though. Next to him for the Rockies, Ezekiel Tovar. The shortstop takes the ball. Well struck left field. Oh, uh, he, he had a bad read on that. I mean, it makes sense. It's always enough. Not very good defensively. He pulls into second as oh, 11 to 5. Scores. I mean, they did score some runs. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Now, Jackson Holiday. <laughs> and that's in there for strike one. Runner at second, two down. Here at the bottom of the seven. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. Hey. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Uh, they Walker. get a run on two hits, no errors, and the man left. We look ahead. Walker, Walker, Welcome Walker. back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Antonio Senzatella. He is living He's up to his name, LOL. Oh, oh right. His name's Walker. Yeah, he'll so be walking him. Scoreboard. Just doesn't have the he same walking him in, too. It, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the we same for his stats, it. obviously. I'm just happy Dickhead hit a home run. Why to kick the pitch? Moniac in the box now. Memorable moment. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Jake Bird, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. And a roof in the center field, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. <laughs> Oh wow, he was late. Strike two. Should have been late on that. That was a really bad swing. Showing no fear on the mound. So really on this at up. bat, he's just attacking the strike zone. Moniak gets his lead at first. Nobody out. On the ground to third. That was really bad. Goes to second. Safe there. Error. I got lucky with that. Now that right here. Is uh. Dickhead's home run trout funny. You should should have watched it. You may have to rewind. It wasn't long ago. Seventh inning, right? Yeah. Seventh inning. 
can't believe he missed that. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the cow so that you can dictate the rest the of Soto the. Soto needs a nice triple for the right cycle. There. I would, I would rather have that, though. There you go. It's gone, motherfucker. Into the second deck it goes. His second home run of the game. I was, I was gonna say this pitcher. He's, he's hanging a lot of pitches like center of the plate. See, the ball is jumping. That was just bound man. to happen. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Well, 14-5. Angels, Just baby. An excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat. Yeah, Soto, he uh, he's having a monster drive, year. Short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Here is Glaber. So that means I have eight home runs in this game. Holy shit! Hard grounder into eight the outfield home for runs. Enough. I mean that. Yeah. I mean, on this franchise, that's by far the best I've ever done. That's wow. Jake Bird. Game's still going. From the pen. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. And here's the first baseman, Nolan Shanowell. And a base hit. Throw back in quickly. Mm -mm. First and second now with nobody out. Back to back singles. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside and he let it get. I feel like my PCI is getting bigger and bigger. Incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. It's gone, motherfucker. A three run dinger. Second home run of the inning, <laughs> and they add to the lead. It's 17. I, I'm five. almost saying there's like a sick joke. One they pitch, just throw it down the swing, middle, like they just don't give a fuck. Run. Yeah, you could say that's efficiency right that's there. What it feels that's why I'm getting so many home runs that impact. night. I think the ball is carrying a little too well in this ballpark, but it's almost like it goes right down away. the middle. It's like, like, what do like you think's gonna happen? This is great. Drop a little bit and then get your arms extended. Really good piece of hitting right there. I have nine home runs. Oh my god, Rockies! What the fuck's wrong with you? Ed, the next to hit for the Angels. One for three. This one <laughs> to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. Another one. Back-to-back -back <laughs> homers. He's done it again. Oh, no, take that in the game. Game. <laughs> It's 18 to 5. <laughs> First pitch hacking and it paid off for him in a big way. It's gone, motherfucker. I have 10 home runs in this game. What's the fucking record in real life? Holy fucking shit. I've never done this in my life. He's so good at getting his I mean, he was right down the middle again. Exactly I just had to get my right timing. There. I didn't even have to Typically move the PCI. It was literally the down plate, the fucking middle. He doesn't allow his wrist to roll <laughs> over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. <laughs> Adam Mako takes over on the mound. What is going on? He's a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. You know what it was, Nick? Dick has said, oh, you didn't see my first home run? All right, you watching now? <laughs> 10 is the major league record. Oh, is that the record in real life? Like... Or are you saying what I'm doing is the record? Tied for the record? Here, let me look that up real fast. Oh my god, I, I just can't stop laughing. I mean, 10 is the record. Wow. Okay. MLB. Home run. Record. Um, single game. Yep, you're right, 10. 1987, the Toronto Blue Jays set the single game record that still stands with 10 home runs, 18 to 3, over Baltimore. You know, it's always Baltimore. It's just like when the Rangers scored like 30 runs on them or something. Of course, it'd be Baltimore. 
Well, I have a chance to actually break the all-time. Yeah, 87 Blue Jays. Wow. So it has happened. All right. And they won 18 to 3. Ironically, I, I have 18 runs. 18 to 5. Oh, right. Oh, man. Here's the left field. So, uh, in this game, out of my 10 home runs, three guys have two home runs. Uh, Moniac, Soto, and Dickhead, I think, each have two. And, uh, actually, maybe Brandon Drury has two. We'll, we'll, we'll see Marcelo when this game's Zuna. over. I don't remember. <clears throat> First pitch does hey, you know what? I guess Trout isn't missed. Or Trout's probably like, man, I wish I wasn't hurt. Damn, I want a piece of this action. <laughs> oh my god. Mako. This is it without is Mike season, Trout, man. 25 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round. Oh my Back god. Th this is the worst fucking... Oh my god. This team was in my division. The one -oh. Talk about a freebie. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Rip to short. Oh my god. Slings to first. Yeah. First out in the top of the eight. Fastball crew right down yeah, the middle. Right. Usually That's a lot of damage done no with that game. pitch. A hard grounder, but oh, he wanted game. to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. I mean, I, I should take play. this seriously. Go for the all-time record. I still have uh, the top of the ninth since I'm the away team. Swings right, well, and misses. Don't, be, don't, don't help him out. I think he was a little excited <laughs> there. Saw the fastball, but needed a step ladder to get to that one. He's going to have to tighten it back up. He wants to have oh. a good at bat. Wouldn't chase that time. <clears throat> so, a foul ball makes it one and two. One down, base is empty. The other way. Hey, fair. And that's oh, just foul. That would have been a nice hit. <clears throat> All over that change up away. <laughs> this he threw it again. To left. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. Oh, man. Mickey Moni. I'm just dying. The next the to hit for the Angels. Mickey Moni. I mean, I'm dying. And a foul ball. In the air to left down the line. And that drops foul. Left hand hitter waits. That one not close. And it's one and two. Through it and that's a strike. Yeah, Moniac, he, he just struggles versus lefties. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. <clears throat> Back here at Coors Field. Out of the bottom Rockland. of the eighth. Here's the Rockies the right cleanup field. hitter, Zach yeah. Bean. Oh. Yeah, the right hitter back to work. Oh, he doesn't get the call. 1 and 0. Oh. Well, I mean, I, I guess, I guess, uh, Guardians and Royals really just had good pitching. Oh, While I was kind of struggling a little bit. Thankfully, my pitching showed up for those two games. Left hand batter this, waits. ironically, my pitching didn't quite show up, Pulls but it's okay. Foul. You know, just, you know, it's like when you're a good team, it everything is like convenient for you, like uh, when your pitching doesn't show up, it's like, oh, it's okay because we scored enough runs right or like oh man we just can't hit today oh but conveniently our pitching showed up and you know shut the door and we won yeah it's a good sign i mean it's a sign that we're a good team that things are going our way you know <clears throat> the two one yeah, that's downstairs and outside Line drive. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base. Hit. So do it. He tried. Just don't hurt yourself. 
I don't need another injury. Montero in the box now. No balls and a strike. Way outside. <laughs> and the count even one and one. Right-hander kicks deals. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Got him swinging. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to come in. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. And that's off the one inside ball, edge. And it's <laughs> ball to strike. Ground ball right Could be with the duck order. There's one. Second, there's one. There's two. There's double play. There we go. And that's the inning. This one pretty well decided at this point. Ninth inning coming Yeah, I up. think we won. Angels are out in front. If I blow this, then. Man. Something wrong. <laughs> the Rockies have two errors, too. They're bad in every way. <laughs> and we're back. We All set to, to start the ninth in this the one. Here's the third baseman, Vladimir, Vladimir Guerrero, Guerrero Jr. Ooh. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Oh. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. Besides that solo shot in the first and inning, Guerrero's been quiet actually. And one and two. Too close for me, partner, <laughs> to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons he let it go by. He's still in the at bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. Ooh. Kind of fooled me there. <clears throat> the wind of the pitch. Not even close there. It's two and two. Well, oh, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Calls it in, and there's one away. And next for the Angels, Soto's been Juan perfect. Soto. <laughs> four for four with two homers, a double, and a single. He only needs the triple for the cycle. First offering and it yeah, it's funny, so there's a chance for the cycle. The Angels <laughs> up big in this one. Here are the top <laughs> of the night. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Only if he can get yeah, this one up. It's too much air time. Squeezes it. Shame. And there's two away. It, if, uh, if it drops sooner and it passed him, I mean, it'd be potential. Two outs, bases yeah. Triple. Here's Glaber Torres. You know? Oh, yeah, Boog. He's on the brink of one of your favorite milestones. He's completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. Oh, and that one just that. misses. A it was no also triple Do shy for the cycle. On. That's in funny. The second and final game of the series. I've never had that happen. Over his head. Rhodes, All right. Well, I'm not going to break the record. I tied the record. The catch in a goal. Offense held a check there. Bottom part I of the choked. Order. Seven, eight, nine. Two up in inning number nine. I choked. Angels I saw. Angels out front. 18. So bottom of the ninth. So in now for Colorado. Number 16. The line of the pitch. <clears throat> There's too much pressure. And downstairs. <laughs> Actually, you know, that's how it goes when you're thinking about it. Up the middle. Wow. Nice play. Oh, From good defense. Knees, there you go. On the money. All right, nice two play. more. <laughs> Look at the commitment to make the play down on the ground from the knees. That's not just arm strength, guys. That's core strength as well. Look at that rocket across the diamond. Outstanding job. One and out. Romo stands in now. Looks at that one inside. Oh, that's that's good to hear, Nick. I'm glad to hear that. And the one zero. -oh. And strike one to the catcher. Yeah, that that journey's never fun. I've been there before. Long time ago. So now one and two. Base is empty one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. 
Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. One more. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. Brenton Doyle. Oh. And takes low for ball one. One ball, no strike. Huh. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. <laughs> so a foul ball makes it one and two. This could end it. Not two. close with that one. Now two and two. Drilled out towards left center field. That's oh, well Walker. Way back Is that going to carry? Back gone. Walker sucks, dude, for real. He'll circle the bases. It's 18 to 6. Oh, did you? Well, I'm sorry you're in that position. The odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying All right, Walker, himself get this last and out, the barrel man. to the baseball. And here is Willie Castro. There we go. No error. By Torres. Got plenty of time. The first in time. There this we go. Over. And the Angels make it six straight victories. All right. Well, with this sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, yeah. you know what, we're Dick good. Dickhead's like, boy, uh, may have had some tough times time to grab ass on, and be gay. I hit two home runs today, bitches. This kind of play out of yourselves. We'll see if this translates into. Well, Sandoval didn't really pitch well, but right seven now. and three. So this one got a little out of he hand. He got a little run the support. The team picks up the win huh. and picks up a sweep for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John <clears throat> Shambi saying so long. Man, when I hit that leadoff home run, I was like, man, it was that vibe. This game was already over. <laughs> Here we go. Oh boy. Here's some stats to look at. Four hours and one I struck out nine, only two walks. Um, man. Dodo had five RBIs. Torres had four RBIs. Oh, God. The entire lineup hit. That may be a first for me. All nine hitters at least had a piece of the pie. So let's see here. Out of my 18 hits, I had three doubles. And let's double check with the home runs. At two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, ten. And Torres also had two. The so Torres, Soto, Dickhead, Moniac had two. And then Guerrero and Drury had one. Okay. That is crazy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, they had 11 hits. Um, I mean, whatever. I walked them twice, 11 strikeout. They had uh, three doubles and uh, the three home runs. So 13 home runs in this game. Yeah, I mean, look at their pitching ERAs. Not good. Wow. Then they're not good. They are not good, boy. That is the worst team I have faced. Right, they scored six runs. Um, I mean, I'll give them credit against Sandoval because he is our ace. Uh, Walker, I mean, that's kind of a freebie. He sucks. Um, so we already faced the Rangers. So, uh, let's go ahead and sim up to here. It's going to be draft time. I don't care about the all-star game. All right, go to draft. Um, okay. Usually I just wing it. See, the only thing that pisses me off with the draft is the whole interest thing. 
Um, I do like this uh, starting pitcher. His potential is guaranteed high and uh, good overall, too, but he's probably going to be long gone. I'm the, what, 13th overall pick? Yeah, he's going to be gone. Um, here, let me start with... Uh, Got it. Let me go all. Here we go. I, I kept it. Wrong button. So, uh, the guys I'm gonna ping. Ping him. Uh, yeah, probably ping him, too. Yeah, 18 years old, but he's guaranteed high potential. So I'll ping him. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wing it. I'm just winging it. Let's just, uh, let's just go to the draft, man. Cause I have enough time. I'll figure. It out. I'm not too worried about it. Those guys are probably all gonna be gone. So right fielder. Yeah, worse he could be a steep potential. He's probably a B or an A. Uh probably B if I'm looking at that. Uh but he's guaranteed already MLB ready. Twenty one years old. That's cool. White Sox definitely need help. There's the Rockies. I mean, where did they start? They probably get another shortstop. They got a starting pitcher. Now that doesn't look like a I mean he's eighteen years old, but that other guy that I pinged, I don't know. He looked like the guy right off the bat. Yeah, it even says draft rank 39. So that's not a good number two pick. Pretty bad. It, maybe the interest thing had an effect, which kind of is annoying. They took a starting pitcher. Okay. I think the guy I looked at. They didn't pick him. Oh, I think that was him too. They 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 took him. Yeah. Well, actually, this was this is the other guy too. He'll he'll probably be gone. Still there, but there's no way he's gonna last. Uh, let me see. Catcher looks pretty good. Nineteen years old. Guaranteed, you know, pretty good potential. May take several years for him to be MLP ready. He's 19. Thankfully, I do have a young catcher, so I don't really have to worry about that for a while. Unless I lose Ohapi somehow. Oh, my go. So all the guys I uh I pinged, they're gone. I kind of figured that. It's a shame. Those guys look good too. Uh all right, so I'll go. Let's go by the top here. He's 64%, and uh looks like he'll have automatically good potential. He's 18 years old. Um, so he has fastballs, change-up slider. I mean, I may go for him right off the bat.
I should put all. I'm an idiot. Here, go back. Re refresh. It's always good to see uh, draft rankings. I don't know about that guy. I bet he ends up being pretty good. Five pitches. Throws hard. My kind of guy. May go for the third baseman. He has a decent interest in me. Uh, draft rank twenty six, my my rank sixteen. Yeah, I go for him. I'll, I'll go ahead and get him. I'm running out of time. I like to think that may not be a bad uh, pick. Uh, send two angels next pick. Uh. It's I should look at uh, pitching. They go for this guy, the left fielder. Thanks to Washington. I may go for Washington. He's 19. You need pitching. I'm, I'm going to go pitching after this. Uh, I feel like pitching, there's usually a lot of options. I don't know what it is. Uh, I feel like 
you could find pitching easier than hitting. So that's why it's like, well, I'll go for the hitting first. That's not, I mean, that's not always the case, but I, I feel like on average. But yeah, now, now I'm going all pitching, um, no matter what. Uh, which, well, the starters are gone. Okay. I figured there'd still be some. Um, this guy could, he's at least see potential. He's 21 years old. And uh, I may grab him. Look at the relievers. Now this guy, yeah, that's a big gap though, right there. There's a lot of ifs with this guy. He throws hard. Uh, I'll, I'll grab the starter first, since he's the last one. Yeah. Well, okay. Maybe I made a mistake. I should have grabbed one. Uh... Oh, the relievers are. Oh shit! They're all gone. What's even left? Oh. Oh, I, I see what happened. I was like, wait. Because I had the top 100. That's what it was, yeah. I was like, really? They're all gone. And maybe I fucked up. I'm bad at times, so. though. I just have to take whatever. Um. I mean, I was out of time. I don't even know what I grabbed. Probably not good. So sorry, I fucked up. I definitely fucked up. Maybe I'll get lucky. But now the starting is officially gone. If I can find a reliever. This guy would take time. Um, he's he's gonna have a, a good potential. Throws hard. Potentially, probably does. Well, here's an 18-year-old. I should probably go with this guy. It's going to take him a while. Grab him. Alright, well, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, you're in team rank. Yeah, oopsie. <laughs> yeah, I made a mistake there. Well, we'll see. I like to think I at least got one guy. Hopefully. Dang, Rangers almost swept me in a four-game series. That hurt. We're still having a good year. Um, and Mike, you're eight and two. That's awesome. Uh, we're second in the division. Man, Angel, or excuse me, the Cheaters, they're way out in front. Each cheating. 
Because I had injuries. Ah, yeah. Get back in there. I hate when it does that shit. How you doing, Nick? Oh, you're an 81 now. There you go. Yeah, your ERA is not so good. You have blown some saves. Kind of a bummer. Well, you know, you're trying to... I don't know. I'm giving you a chance. Not working out this year. We'll see. You may not be the closer in the future. Maybe another guy. The clerk's still looking balls. No surprise. He slowly... I, I don't even know how he gets better. I, I just don't understand how he got better. Seriously, I don't get that. Because he's sucking dick this year. At least he's under 10 ERA. I mean, it's still shitty. 861. I just don't know what to think about that. I'm glad Soriano's getting overall better. He's having an okay year. He's kind of hot cold. He just, yeah, so many walks. He has good stuff, but those walks. Actually, Moore has been doing better. He's getting worse, though, due to age. But uh, he's actually pitching a lot better lately. It's ironic. Um, Walker, you know, he's still sucking dick. No surprise. And he's pitching okay. He got better. Yeah. Overall, it seems like uh, the bullpen isn't great, but it's, it's doing a little better. Um, how's the starting? So my, you know, for a rookie, he's doing really well. I've been overall disappointed in him, and yeah, he's still got worse. Uh, he has a winning record. He's been pitching better. He's out of the five ERA. He's four twenty nine. Well, I shouldn't say disappointment. He's getting if he can get. Somehow below four, that'd be amazing. I don't know if he will. But yeah, he has a winning record, not because of him, because of the offense. Uh, he's the one I'm disappointed in. He still got better due to his A potential, but that's going to start ending soon if he doesn't pitch better. I mean, a 476 DRA. See, I was hoping he would do it. He's striking people out this year. And then Sandoval, well, he's been a little cold lately. Seven and three, four ERA. He's pitching okay, kind of like what you would expect. And then this kiddo, well, you know, just a fill-in. He's actually, I mean, for what he is, he's not doing bad. I mean, you can't rely on that, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, our pitch is been great. Um, our lineup didn't get screwed up, did it? I think everything's fine. Okay, I can't sign those guys yet. Uh, let's sim up to here. There we go. I knew it was coming up. Yeah, what's the percentages here? Okay, so we got him off the bat. Um, all right, we got him too. And this guy. We got him to sign. Cool. Um, I don't think I can offer not yet. No.
Alright. Uh, no, I keep going. I have time for that. Alright, now, now I'll look at it. Let me see if the interest thing has gone up. And then we have this too, extensions. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. That that did go up a lot. This is this is the guy my first pick too. Or not my first pick. The second round, yeah. I mean he should just take that. There you go. I got him. And uh Alright, well I'm getting all these guys and then this freaking dweeb. I feel like he won't even sign with me. He's probably a piece of shit anyways. Um, that's all the draft picks. Um. This, I'm trying to... I'm gonna let LeClerc go. Because, uh, he's been disappointing. He's just, he's just stuck with us. So, fuck him. He can take a hike. No, uh... Oh, Hoppy. Let me see. So he wants potentially eight million a year for five years. I I'm cool with five years. I'm gonna see if I can lower money just a little bit. Um, that's seven point two a year for five years. Oh, I can lower his years, and, and I may do that to save money. Because he's happy with that. I mean, he's a catcher. Catchers, you know, they kind of go to hell after a while. So he'd be 31 when this contract's over. Um, yeah, maybe I'll get him for $6 million a year. There you go. He took it, too. I thought that was a good price. So we have him locked in for four years. Uh, Brandon, I'm going to let him walk. I like him. I think he's a good player. He, uh, he's he been a good hitter for me. But uh, it's time to move on since Dickhead is growing. Um, He'll be missed, though. Now, since I need a lot of help on pitching, Sandoval, I mean, I should re-sign him. Short term, though. He's making 5'8 right now. I mean, he's okay. He's kind of like, he's just that okay guy. Uh, he wants years, but I'm not going to give him a lot of years. If I go two years, how much money are we talking? I could go one year, and he'll be a lot cheaper. Yeah, he definitely wants more money. I think he's worth 10 mil. I think he's worth 10. Add a few more years. Oh, you fuck. We ain't doing that. Maybe if I give him ten and a half. He really wants years. Um. See, but then he wants more money. Hmm. What if I just give you eleven mil? I don't. I don't want to like over overpay him. You know what I mean? I want to make sure I have some money for off season, but I feel like he's something we should hold on to. I like a longer contract. I need some security. He really wants that long term. Um, maybe give him two years for eleven million a year. I don't know if I want to go more than that. What do you guys think?
That's about what I'm looking for. All right. Did I overpay him? I mean, that's probably about what he's worth, really. Um, I'm being stingy. Uh, Brandon's going. Leclerc's gone. Neto. Yeah, I was trying to trade him. I know people are going to scream if I let him go. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Let me see how much he'll take. He's been a good reliever, but... Oh, I'm paying him five. I wonder if he'll take five million for one year. Okay, got him for one more year. Uh, Walker, get the fuck off my team now. Uh, yeah, he's starting to lose. You know, overall, uh, due to age, he's thirty-five. Even though he's killing for us, he has twenty-six homers. He had forty-two last year with the Braves. Um. He's hitting, I mean, really well. I mean, even for average for him, you know, 269. He's really having a good year. We got our money's worth for six mil. Um, as much as I like him, I don't know if I'll re-sign him, you know. He'll start going to, uh, into decline mode, as we can see. He did get plus two power versus righties, so that means all his, bulk of his home runs versus righties. Uh, and also how I know that, minus seven versus lefties. So, he's not hitting too many home runs versus the lefties. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll probably let him walk. We'll we'll see what else is out there. Oh, Mike is a 70 now. There you go, Mike. Boom. Magic Mike. <laughs> yeah, I think I should re-sign you. And you're a night player. <laughs> All right, you know, I'm going to try to lock you in best I can. Do it on possible. The only way to do it without, like, super overpaying you. So hold on a second. Say if I go, like, I'm, I'm trying to, like, lock you in. I'm pretty confident you're the guy for a long period of time. So, you know, I could pay you later, right? See if I can get a bargain for a long period of time. Huh. Rotation. That definitely helps. I don't want to say ace because you may get mad because you won't be the ace yet. Uh... Right now, I have you at five, which is cheap if you really are going to be that guy. Um, that gets you pretty happy. Say if I go... I feel like you'll take that. Five million a year for seven years. So, in seven years... I mean, because this is an extension, so you'll be 19... You'll be 26. See, it's funny because I'm, I'm kind of screwing myself, to be honest with you. Because, boy. Like, I have you locked in for a, a while, but ooh, I don't know if I'm saving money by doing it like this. Uh, burning my bridge. <laughs> You're probably like, hey, bro, don't screw me over. Show me the money. <laughs> <laughs> don't you be a cheap motherfucker you better pay my ass <laughs> let's go uh three years I I'll let's go three years I i'll be light for like 800k definitely gonna take that here i'll make you super happy i'll go four years a million a year. You'll probably take that. All right, I'll go uh, make you. Yeah, I go for you. Now you're really happy. One point one a year, and I'll probably give you the front load. 
Well, I'll just do normal. It's only a million. You're going to take that. At this point in my career, a short contract is better. Ah, see? Ah, Mike. Yeah, you smart. <laughs> you, you want short term. You don't want that long term contract. All right. So uh, 800K basically for three years. That's about what I'm looking for. All right. I mean, okay. You see, you're you're playing the system. That means you're confident that you're going to be a badass. And you're going to be like, oh, you're going to pay me later, bitch. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, pretty much all these guys are going to walk. Um, He's not a bad backup catcher. He's okay. Let's see how much money he wants. I mean... He ain't getting no long term. I mean, if he's going to be cheap, I mean, for a backup, I mean, hey, that's cool. He's okay for that. Yeah, like one and a half. I think that's what he's making right now. Yeah. So if I pay him the same thing, that's cool. Add a few years. Um. Well, I mean, I could. Oh. Add a few years, my ass. I was about to go 1.8. He really wants more years, even though his interest thing kind of... I'm going to test the market. I mean, he ain't all that. No, fuck him. If I have to call up a little middle schooler, so be it. Yeah, I think all these guys are going to go. They're just old, or they just were disappointing. Uh, Neto, I'm, I'm going to wait on him. All right, so cool. We, we did a lot of signing there. Uh, let's go ahead and up to here. Oh, yeah, Lelizica's back. Oh, there was a trade. That's why the Red Sox be trading all their guys. Got a bunch of youngsters, though. But he's young, too. It's, it, it almost defeats the purpose, besides, like, basically, you just didn't want to pay him since he's on his final year. Um, Yeah, now my roster's full due to that. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Because uh, I won't hear the end of it. Uh, I just want to trade, Joey. Joey, fucking trade. Trade, trade. You know, I'm just going to trade. I'm going to do a manual for once. With, uh... Zach Neto. I know some people are, are probably just, like, blown away. Because he's supposed to be this future. But Dickhead just kind of took over. <laughs> And I still have uh, Torres for a few years. You know, it's like, eh, I'm pretty good. Uh, now, you know who I would like to get? I know who I'd like to get. You know that one, that one guy on uh, the Guardians? That badass 20-year-old? Oh, there go all. He's already an 80 fucking 7. Dude, this guy is going to be a fucking legend. I mean. God, I'm going to have to suck some serious dick to get him. I mean, look at him, 20 years old, and he's he's turning into a stud, dude. Jeez. We're going to have to give him a new name. It's only his second year. He hasn't really started his career fully yet, you know, just a little sample. Oh, man. Yeah, we'd have to renew his contract. Um, Probably won't be cheap on the fly.
Let's just see where it's at right now. We think we should be getting more value. I, I would think Neto definitely improved. I mean, because Neto's young and he's pretty good. Okay, so um all right, you guys want me to do it? I'm doing it this one time. Oh, I want you to trade. Yo, you fucking trade. Here you want uh Leclerc? Fuck him. Okay. Um You know what? Who's their starting pitchers? I'm thinking about trading uh, Detmers just because I hate his freaking delivery, man. Delivery drives me nuts. Why don't I add him right now? I mean, is that interest pretty good? They probably don't even want Leclerc. They know he picks balls. Let me see if they have a young pitcher. Uh, a guy with C potential, which, eh, you know, eh. 18 year old 18 year old well here's a guy with a potential he's 22 68 he's injured that's not a good sign probably a bad idea he throws like a woman anyways okay uh well how about relievers and we want good potential uh not there uh -huh. You look at my outfielders. Press uh, X for suggested trade. Oh, I think they're just not interested. Oops. Okay, they they just don't want. It. I mean, I, I, if I was them, I I I would say no, man. You guys don't get on your knees and suck good enough dick to uh, have him. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's uh, let's look around. That dude's out of the. I mean, he's just out of the ballpark. He's just too. He's like a beast. <laughs> This guy is an 18 year old. A 19 year old. That was hard. Prescott. Well, let's look for guys that are, uh, I'm, I'm just going to look for pitching with a potential if they're out there. Just right now, Twins have a 70 overall B potential. He throws 96. See what the cheaters be doing here. It's like their farm system sucks balls. You would think athletics would have a great farm system. He's 23. I want younger. <laughs> 19 year old. 
he don't look bad. I, I like a guy that can throw hard, but he has at least like four pitches. He has four pitches. He's a righty. Could go for him. Looks like he's very hittable, though. His hit per nine is not very good. He'll strike people out. He's definitely a project. That's their only guy. Um, let me see what else. So I hope you all are happy. Oh my god, I want you to fucking try, 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 try. <laughs> all right, look what you've done. Now, it doesn't have to be a young prospect. I could go for like a really good veteran, like a good pitcher, right? Because Neto could be looked at as a, I mean, not a prospect, but a young future, right? Obviously. I mean, I could do that, too. And actually, that would probably be much smoother sailing as far as uh, getting accepted. Um, which isn't probably a terrible idea if I try to get an ace, right? That'd probably make more sense. I'm trying to, you know, make the uh, the playoffs. Probably should do that. Yeah, he got really good. He's only 22, man. 94. He's 6'8". Wow. Yeah, he'd be our ace, all right. So, um, they, I, I want him. He's on his final year. See, I'm going to have to pay him. See, here's, this is the scary thing. He was probably going to be a free agent anyways. Um, I, man, I may not even be able to sign him after this year. Depends on what he wants. Here's another guy. 6'5". I kind of like this guy. Let me see. The Marlins could be a good opportunity here. There you go. They have Joey uh, Votto. Poor guy. He's still kicking. He has uh, 358 career home runs, uh, 294 career average, almost 1,400 walks. We're trying to close in on 2,200 hits, but he's not going to get there. He's not playing. Yeah, I may just say that Perez guy is out of the question. Or, as silly as this sounds, I let him go. Leclerc, I don't care. He sucks dick anyways. I'd be willing to do this. Um, That saves me a lot of money right now, which doesn't matter. But... Well, let's just see what they say to that. I, I'm sure it's that's a no, right? We think we should be getting more. Yeah, you guys don't even want Leclerc. I mean, who the fuck wants that? Hmm. I want to keep dickhead. Yeah, I don't think so. He will not be a free agent. I mean, we'll see. It's the Marlins. I mean, they can't afford anything. There's a reason why they're a little preschool team, you know? I 
mean, hell, they didn't even uh, hold on to De La Cruz, and he wasn't even... I'm only paying him $1.8 million a year, and he's a good player. They let him go. I mean, yeah, he's no Perez, but, you know, the Marlins. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think he's definitely out of the question. There you go, Soto. <laughs> I'm keeping Soto. Yeah, there's no way. I wonder if they'd want Magic Mike. They're not going to have him, though. He mine. Alright. Yeah, he, he's not happening. Now, what's, what's funny about that, if I took this guy off, I bet I have better opportunity to get them. But. Hmm. Funds if I just offered all this, just for him. Yeah, he he has way too much value. He's gonna be. I you know what? I know he's gonna be a free agent. You watch. You're like, no, he can't ever be a free agent. I that they can't afford him. So I'm gonna go for him, and uh, maybe for him too. Actually, he only has three pitches, but you know something else. Maybe I'll get both of those guys. In fact, looks like I probably could. Now, um, it may be silly to let him go, but I, I his delivery, I don't know, kind of annoys the shit out of me. Remember, there is a uh, uh, trade feedback on the top of screen. Yeah, I do see that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm not reading that bottom line. You're right. We think we should be getting more. Um, we're definitely interested in making this deal. So, they will take LeClerc, which, I mean, he all he does is blows games, you know. We're not re-signing him, so he can get lost. Um, so basically, I'm getting two starters. I'm losing the one. And you know what? Deadmers, he, he just hasn't been it. He just hasn't. He, he... You know, he's not doing that well this year. I mean, he, he's just not it. I know he's still young. He's cheap for another year, but his 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 long, like, delivery, it, it kind of it drives me nuts, personally. So, uh, you know, yeah, he just hasn't been good. He wasn't good last year. Not any better this year. Not really that great. You're talking crazy. Okay, hey, Winter, make sure you're around when we get to offseason. Well, we'll see if he's a free agent. As of right now, they did not re-sign him. It's not going to happen. This is the Marlins. He's, he's going to want like 30 plus mil. And Marlins like, we can't afford that. We'll give you $3. And he's going to be like, man, get the fuck out of here. Either that or they trade him. We'll see. All right, so I, I think that's a pretty good deal. What do you guys think? I mean, Neto, like I said, I mean, it almost looks like they're robbing me on paper, but at the same time, I'm getting two, like, potential future starters here. They're both 21 years old. One has eight potential, 76, 75. We'll, we'll go ahead and extend their contract. They shouldn't be too expensive. Three years of arbitration, brother. Yeah, yeah. They won't. <laughs> do you know how that works? I do. And do you know arbitration can fuck you over? I've had that happen. I remember my backup catcher. This was last year. It was like two million. And guess what? It went up to like six fucking mil. And I'm like, bro, that got me broke. 
I, I think it's a smart trade. I, I think so. At least we have some future starters, hopefully. Um, okay. Boom. There's our trade. There you go. Now I don't want to hear this. Are we going to try it? Let me see. Just see these guys here, right? Oh, no. Oh, me. I'll have to look at this since we uh, did all that. Yeah, I'll have to add them to the 40 man roster. Things have changed halfway through the season. Bro, do you not know how this works? I guess you don't know the Marlins very well. I let guys go even through arbitration because, uh, you know, doesn't mean it's necessarily dirt fucking cheap. It's cheaper than what they would want, but it could still fuck you if you're if you're tight on money. And remember, this is the Marlins. They don't have money. They don't. They sh they can't even go to McDonald's. Uh, all right, so. This is definitely changing a lot of stuff here. At least our rotation looks a lot different. Um. We'll see then. Yeah, we will see. We'll see. Alright, I guess I'm going to go with this. We probably have the, the youngest rotation now. I bet he's not a free agent anytime soon. We'll see. The only way that Marlins keep him if they get a fucking bargain on him. Which could happen. It, it could. I thought uh, Vladimir Guerrero was pretty freaking cheap. Uh, I was kind of amazed. But it's the Marlins. I don't think he wants to stay there. He's like, I actually want to play for a real team, not a high school team. Uh, all right. So our our bullpen still sucks, obviously, but um. It's all good. I have two long relievers. Uh, so that's our starting rotation now. That, I, I like to think our starting rotation will be a little better. Are they going to be here now? No. I wonder if they'll get added on that since they're on their final year. I forget. Now I will say I forget how that kind of works. Let me send through here. The Angels have 14 pitchers on their and the maximum. Oh, oh, I'm past the max. Yeah, yeah, 13 is the limit. That makes sense. Yeah, I should have noticed that. All right, so uh, this uh, Chase Chancy guy is probably going to be the one sent down. And what that means is, uh, I could call up another pos a positional player. Uh, Trout's hurt. All right, so I kind of feel bad for this guy because he kind of pitched. He actually pitched pretty good. I mean, a three ninety six ERA. <sighs> he does allow a lot of walks. It, it, it's one of those things. I think he's been kind of lucky. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll go ahead and send him down to AAA. I kind of feel bad on doing that, but it is what it is. Just looking at my farm system, it's not the best.
I'm hoping this guy... I'm hoping he'll be, like, the potential, because this guy could be good. This is okay. Looks okay for his age. But he's all defense. They all like guys that can hit. He can't hit. <clears throat> Alright. Cool. So we got that figured out. Oh. My lineup's screwed up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's right, because I had to add Neto to the lineup. That's right. It's not going to hurt us, though. I mean, you're back in the lineup. Yeah, because that's how I did it before. Um, actually, I'm going to let the Cruz bat fifth. Yeah, he's having a really good year. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. That looks pretty good. First lefties and then righties. Oh, that's already fine. Yeah. Cool. Now we should... I <clears throat> only have one guy left. Uh, not yet. I mean, I don't think he's going to be any good. They've already faced the Marlins. Uh, since we know a bad team is a bad team, let's not bother. White Sox are a really bad team. Yeah, the Braves would be a good team to play. Um, I haven't played them yet, but we could send them up to here. Uh, the the cheaters made a trade. Picked up a good right fielder. They got rid of some young guys. Uh, all right, yeah, we have a similar record. Cool. Do we? Uh, we don't play the Braves again. No, it's just the one time, yeah. I wish I was in their house play at Atlanta. It's a different scenery. We're going to be home on this one. View draft picks. I don't think I can view them until next year, right? People always say that, but I don't think you can. I think you have to wait, right, till next year. I, I pretty much signed all of them except that one, which was the piece of shit one. So I'm not I'm not too concerned about that. Or are they on here now? I don't think so. Like uh for example Yeah, I don't see the guy. I'm just thinking of guys that I know I drafted that come to mind. Yeah, I don't see them. Yeah, I think you have to wait until next year, which I, I, I think it's bullshit. I wish you can just look at them. Kind of how it was before. Even though this draft system's more realistic, I, I, I actually like the old one. I prefer the the original way, how they had it. I don't really like the new way. Uh, nothing different here, right? Okay, now now they're here. Okay, yeah, was, that's what I was looking for, these two. I want to try to ex give them an extension. It's on the... Homepage, bro. It's on the draft page. And you're a disrespectful little cocksucker, aren't you? So, uh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, you're right. Whatever. Oh, this one's unknown. Because I, yeah, I didn't sign him. He probably sucks anyways. Okay, so, uh, yeah, he don't look bad. For 19 years old.
he's the only one that has the really good potential. Almost A. He'll he'll take a while though, to fifty nine, maybe a few years. Yeah, I, I thought my draft was okay. Wasn't really feeling it. Damn, he's a forty-nine. It's gonna take forever. I, I don't think he'll make it. Well, I mean that's good though. Uh, another starting pitcher, and he has really good stamina, so that that's good at least. Um. Yeah, this guy will be a power hitter. I, that's kind of what it looked like. That's why I was like, ah, oh, you know, he kind of, he kind of fits my style. Maybe in a few years he'll be MLB ready. Uh, defense probably not going to be good, but he may have a good arm. For a third baseman, he has good speed. For a third baseman, he can also play first. How tall is he? Five eleven. Pretty short. You wouldn't want him at first. And this guy, yeah, he's a big boy that cannot hit. I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think he's gonna make it for me. He can't hit. I'm thinking this third baseman in a few years and the starting pitcher, the rest of these guys, I don't, I don't think they make it unless something like some sort of miracle. Maybe like four or five years, this guy will make our bullpen roster, but, you know, I don't think any of you guys want to be him, you know? Ned Martinez. The third baseman has power. He will in a few years. Yeah, he's going to be a power hitter. Yeah. Yeah, I just can't customize them right now as far as who wants to be what. Yeah, I can't change their name yet. Oh, uh, I guess I'm going to face Hicks, huh? What other options that I have? Happy one push? Wait, happy one push? Uh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, let's do this. I want to lock these guys. Lock them up. I may be able to really lock this guy up. Um, for pretty cheap. Twenty one right now. So I'm taking a gamble, but thankfully it'll be a, a cheap gamble. And if he, if he succeeds, then, oh boy, did I rip him off. Yeah, i probably just go to six years. So 10 million for the six years. So that's 1.7 a year. And this is an extension, so he'll be like 28, you know, when it's, when it's up. I mean, that's pretty cheap to me, man. That just means I'll have more money to get more bats <laughs> or whatever's out there. Uh, all right, now him. He'll probably want more. Yeah, I kind of not too surprised by this. Maybe not, though. Yeah, no, he wants more. Yeah, I thought so. A potential. I could lock him up. For six years, pretty similar. Uh, two million a year, still cheap, man. I forgot to put rotation. 
I'll just go with that. Yeah. Normal structure, because it's already cheap as is. There you go. That's how you get it done. I, I don't know if I want to hold on to him just to hold on to him. Oh, wait. He's cheap. I mean, he may be in our bullpen next year. I I'll wait, though. I'll wait on him. Um, I mean, he is cheap. He is really cheap. He he probably will be like a long reliever for us because a lot of those guys are going to be gone. So there's going to be room for that. Um, I think he's proven enough to get a contract like this. I'd probably only give him, like, three years, though. Yeah, like, 800k. I mean, that's pretty cheap. I mean, I'm not losing nothing. If he, if he works out, he works out. If he doesn't, all right, well, 800k, whatever. I mean, it would only hurt if I was the Marlins. Okay. Cool. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. All right, cool. Well, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch the Yankee game. I would play another one. I played three. We got through that draft. Did my extensions. We did that one trade. So I don't want to hear it. Oh, yeah, trade. <laughs> Do a team option. Little contracts like that. I'm not. I'm not really sweating that. Honestly, the worst case scenario, he just fills up the AAA. I mean, if he doesn't work out, 800k is really not a big deal. Uh, Angels have a pretty good budget. Like I said, if I was like a poor like Marlins team, yeah, that'd be a big deal. But Angels actually have money, especially now. They have some money. Yeah, I mean now, I mean I, I'm even more green after doing that trade. Um, these are my player salaries, my twenty twenty six threshold two two hundred forty four mil. Team revenue is two fifteen. That's pretty good. Uh, player salaries one eighty seven. Revenue sharing and staff salary. My 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 staff salary is high. Yeah, we should be pretty good though. Because next year, my player salary will be 145 I should have a lot of money. Right? If I'm doing the math right. I should have a lot of money. This, this, this next offseason. So we're, we're looking pretty good. Um, I'll probably spend a fuckload of money on a uh, starting pitcher. I've been disappointed with him. See, and he's not a big deal. I mean, worst case scenario, I put him in the bullpen. He's only making a mil. Um, I may let him go after that because he just hasn't proven it. Um, I mean, Mike, he's going to be a future. I'm hoping these two will be a future. We locked him in for very cheap. Sandoval, we gave him an extension. Two more years because, I, I, you know, he's been consistent. Uh, I trust him. So technically, I could have room for... Uh, one really good ace if they're out there. And maybe this Chase uh Silseth guy. I I push him. I basically I just he gets the short end of the stick because he hasn't really produced. And then just go with the youngsters, let them uh evolve. Uh bullpen. I mean he's gonna be gone, thank God. Uh Lelizica, 
He actually... I may resign him. That's to be continued. Uh, Moore is going to be gone. He's gone. Soriano is good. So I have him. He's gone, and he's been very disappointing. Kind of sad. Even though he got better, I don't understand that. Um, I still have him for a few years. Really cheap. And then Antone, I have him for one more year. Yeah, because we gave him that extension for just 5 mil. Not too bad. And then Nick Jordan, we locked him in for a while. Locked him in for a long time. So, yeah, we definitely are going to need relievers. So we'll just say I'm going to re-sign Lelizica. So I have one, two, three, four. I have five guys that are most likely going to stay. Well, four guaranteed. Uh, I think Lelizica is going to stay. He's been pretty good for me. He's 31. He'll be 32. He can go another year. Yeah, he's really kicking ass this year. Yeah, he was just so-so his first year with us, but he's he's kicking ass this year. I mean, for uh, under 3 mil, I'll take that. Yeah, so that's kind of like my, my plan for pitching. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go watch baseball. We did a lot. I streamed for five hours. Oh, I thought about playing one more, but I want to have plenty of time to watch the game because I pretty much have two hours till I have to like go to work. So get ready and go. Gives me enough time to watch the game. One thing good about MLB TV, I don't have to worry about commercials. Just skip it, you know? Once the game's over, just watch the game. It'd be like two hours. And uh, for those of you new, and if you're like me and you love watching baseball, I can't remember. I don't think I have it on this Xbox. I think I always forget to... I mean, because I never watch TV through this TV. Just uh, stream. Uh, there's this thing called MLB TV. It's it's amazing. The greatest thing ever. All right. Take care, guys. Okay. Oh, you know what? One more thing. See, look at me, man. I want to look at uh, stats real fast. We'll look at record. So, uh, we're now third in the division. So, the Mariners have been red hot, apparently. And then the Astros, they're really cheating. Our offense is by far the best in the division. Man, look how, look how many runs we score compared to the rest of the division. Now, that being said, look at our pitching. Uh, not looking at athletics because they're, you know, a middle school team. But, like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's our problem, man. Our pitching sucks. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, rightfully so. Um, wild card, you know, I'm in the hunt. Just got to get in there. I think we'll make it. The Diamondbacks are the team in the uh, National League. Uh, statistically, I like to look at... I like to see what our team stats look like. So the Twins still have the best hitting. As far as uh, average. I mean, every time I faced them, I mean, they destroyed me. They beat me, what, 14-4 to 4 to start the season, pretty much. Beat my ass. Braves are the second best hitting team as far as, you know, average goes. So, that, that'll, that may be a shootout. We're, 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 we've been sitting at 270. Pretty good, especially since we're a home run hitting team. Um, who's the worst? Rays, they're pretty bad. Rockies, that's no surprise. They're they're bad. So we still aren't the number one offense. Um, pretty close. We probably will be though. Uh, the Twins are slightly in 
in first. There is a big gap between, like, after us and the Twins. I mean, the Braves, which we're about to play. I, they have a good offense. But you see the, the gap difference? Man, that tells you how good of a hitting team the Twins are. And that explains why they destroyed me. <laughs> they, like, butt-fucked me. Yeah, they can hit. Reds have the most doubles. Uh, we're in the middle. Pretty good, though. Triples were one of the worst. Man, we're too slow. We're a slow-ass team. Reds are the best at that, too. The Reds are very good at the extra base hits. They're probably not great at home runs. Oh yeah, we we lead by a long shot. Oh my god, we're gonna go for a record in home runs. We're we're getting over three hundred, dude. We're doing it. We have too much home run power. I mean, look at that Soto and Guerrero. Actually, Guerrero has been on a monster tear. Like he had to have been on a steroid tear because now he has thirty three home runs with Soto. Because Soto was clearly out in front. So Guerrero, just out of the blue, has been on a home run tear. Then Ozuna, he's been very solid. The most dangerous number eight hitter in a lineup. <laughs> Alvarez is killing. He has 37 home runs. But yeah. Man, that's crazy how many home runs we have. That's really cool, though. Yeah, we can't steal. We suck a dick at that. I'm surprised we have that many stolen bases. Yeah, I imagine we'd be the, the slugging team. Uh, Braves right behind us, though. Braves can definitely hit on base percentage. Wins by a long shot. I'd like to think we're we're up there. Eh, 13. Yeah. I think we've been sitting at that number, like 337. Yeah, the pitching. It's been, like, in the, what, mid-fours? How's our defense? Braves have good defense. I I will say, I mean, for what it is, our defense has improved out of the three years. I mean, we're ranked 16. I think that's probably the best we've been. But we're still not great. We'll definitely give them up. Uh, pitching. Rangers still have the best pitching. Yeah, there's the Guardians. I, I believe that. The Guardians, you know, man, they did have good pitching. Thankfully, they couldn't score runs on me. Then there's the Mariners. Yeah, I had trouble hitting them uh, when I played them. I think they beat me 4-3. to three. And there, hey, you know what? There's the Royals. I didn't score a lot of runs on the Royals. We beat them, what, 4-3 to three this stream? Well, they have good pitching. Yeah. Now, you know, one thing good right now, the Braves pitching hasn't been great. No better than mine. Yeah, my ERA has, yeah. That's our problem. 444. That's our problem. Same with the Braves, though. We can both uh, score, but we give them up. And then the Rockies are last. Well, that's no surprise. They are definitely the worst team I've, I've ever faced. Uh, that, that team. Boy, they suck dick. They, they suck dong. They're, they're bad. Oh, that's cool. I think that's all it's going to look at. I was just kind of curious. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we're killing in home runs. Oh my god. Crazy.
I think we're going to hit 300 home runs. Yeah, I forgot. So the Twins have the record. Um, MLB. Oh, let me put a... Uh, Single season. I forgot what it was. No, not player. I know about Barry Bonds. I said team. MLB. Team. It deleted team for whatever reason. Oh, yeah, the Braves and the Twins. That's right. 307. And then the Yankees were right behind that. Yeah, you know, like the same year. It was kind of a weird year. Balls were just flying. But yeah, 307. We have a chance to beat it. 307. Oh. Yeah, I forgot the Braves did that too. Okay. Take care, guys.